Hello, hello, hello. We are back once again. Me, hanging out with you guys, all the amazing geeks that comprise everything involving geek variants over on YouTube and on Twitch. We're back live once more to share in all things geek, this time Fallout. Let's hit the intro. <laughs> All right, guys, Brent here, back for Geek Variants. We cover all things Marvel, DC, Lord of the Rings, anime, gaming, Star Wars, and more. This time, Fallout. And I know the fan premiere has already started and already begun at 5.30. As we are not a member of the live premiere, we will be starting up at 6 o'clock. Just wanted to get the early launch on going, get the chat going so we can start talking all things Fallout. Because as a huge Bethesda fan, I am excited to see what they do with this series because i think if they hit this series out of the park who's to say elder scrolls isn't too far behind i know everyone would be like petitioning to do skyrim but i would recommend probably not doing that um definitely interested to see where things are going i may be running solo heck i may have someone sneak on here in just a moment so we're gonna have a lot of great things on coming are you actually going to play the first episode? We cannot play the first episode on YouTube or on Twitch, Chris. Unfortunately, they have changed the rule. Twitch, you used to be able to go live directly on there with Amazon's content if it was from an Amazon Prime video account. We'll have the episode playing off to the side, and we'll be talking about it with you guys, the viewers, as each episode goes along. We're going to plow through this whole series as quickly and accurately as we can. I'm very excited to see where all things kind of like go with this. I'd love to share it side by side, but as that would be a direct violation of the content standards per YouTube and per Twitch's rules, anyone live streaming that without the express written permissions from Amazon Prime Video would just destroy your channel flat out and you would get buried in legal paperwork. So don't bother, don't do it. Just kind of stick to your own guns here. I wish we could for so many other reasons, just because I'm excited to see what this has to offer Amazon. Every series that they've dropped for the most part, I think Rings of Power is the only one where fans were super divided on. Um, just kind of has left us in that weird situation of um, a divide there. But all other shows have been absolutely hitting it out of the park. Because I mean, The Boys, Invincible, We've had Gen V. That was an absolute banger as well. It's like there's been great content coming for us. I've been very excited to see where all things geek is going to continue to go for us. I have strong feelings about it as well, Chris. Not the terminology I would use per se, but, you know, at the same time, trying to keep things on the up and up and keep things for a uh, more accurate summarization of events here. Very excited to see where we get into this. Um, Kind of taking a look here at some of the potential changes that they have. I do love that Amazon nicely laid out their page so you can take a look at the all the different tech that they have going. going. Everything from the Pip-Boy, the Power Armor, um, everything involving the Bolts, um, Stim Packs, um, the Rad Away, as well as Rad X. And the different members like Lucy, Hank, Norm, Chet, Steph, and so on and so forth. They really have a lot of really good... Uh, more understanding of this universe for those of us who are relatively newer truth be told fallout i played maybe a couple hours of it but as far as being a diehard fan not necessarily in my wheelhouse but you say the word bethesda i'm gonna take a look i'm interested there are things about around that i would love to be able to cover so just making sure that everything is ongoing in the correct form and fashion that we could possibly have for all things geek. Super excited for this series to kind of show us what we got here. Everything from evolving the Brotherhood of Steel to the Raiders, um, Nuka-Cola. There's just so much good stuff going on involving this for us to sit here and not cover it, at least in some form or fashion. That being said, for you know obvious copyright rules, can't just be us here show here anyone else is doing that without express written 
permissions from your the Amazon Studios or from Bethesda Studios, whichever one is doing the distribution rights directly, which I believe would be Amazon Prime Video by default. Not a lot we can do there. We will be talking about the episodes. We'll have full series breakdown as everything is ongoing. I have as many Mountain Dew kickstarts in my body that I can possibly get going so I can you know, stay lively, stay awake. So we did a live stream just last night. We covered X-Men 97. We covered Star Wars The Bad Batch. And then we did our full video recap of X-Men 97 with the people whose opinions you actually want to hear. The people who don't call, you know, Gambit and Bishop by the wrong names, a.k.a. not me. We had our boy Will. We had our boy Tony. The people who are our Marvel resident experts, people who are all cover all things X Men, and come correct with all that information you're actually looking for there. If you want Star Wars or Lord of the Rings information, hey, I'm your guy. But we all shine in different areas. We cover a whole lot of good stuff. There's a lot of great geek content on there. We cover all things Marvel. More of Will's wheelhouse along with Tony. We cover all things DC, which is Tony's wheelhouse almost universally. Will's got some knowledge of it, but at the same time, not the same plethora that Tony does. And then as far as Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, hey, I'm your guy. I'll talk to you about it, all things considering. And we have tons of great stuff prepared for House of the Dragons, for The Boy Season 4, for Rings of Power Season 2. We've got it covered. All you got to do is hit a lovely red subscribe button. Or just if you're on over on Twitch, hit that follow button. We'll have all things covered for you guys and make sure as many different shows possible will be covered in that time frame. So I'm very excited to see kind of like where things go with everything. So let's see. Um, is that available? I'm just checking on the episode in its entirety. Yep. They made sure that if you wanted to get into the vault, you had to have a certain keyword and certain plethora, which unfortunately... We do not have the creator access at this time. Who knows? Maybe by season two, we'll be more ready to go and be able to get on in, enjoy some great stuff for, with everybody, the viewer. So it's going to be a fantastic ride tonight. It will be very entertaining to see what happens with the show, how everything is covered, all the different uh, synopsis of the story, where they make some changes, what um, they specifically want to have covered in this series. So... It'll kind of give us a peek anyway and see what Bethesda is going to do, because that's what I'm mostly here for. If they handle this Fallout series correctly, and this turns out to be a very mutually beneficial partnership, I'm still saying Elder Scrolls, we could get something covered. I don't care if it's Morrowind. I don't care if it's Oblivion. I don't care if it's Skyrim. But if we get it done correctly, we could definitely see a more blossoming universe for them. And I think how that could play out would be really nice and might even incentivize Bethesda in some form or fashion to hurry up and give me Elder Scrolls 6 sometimes before I'm dead because uh, getting getting a little impatient here. You can only replay Skyrim so many times before you're ready for that next, you know, addition to the show, in addition to the series. Um, Trying to make sure everything can be accurately and correctly come across for any excuse me, number forms or a uh, fashion. So I think I'll have my co-hosts joining me potentially in the near future here, just basically getting everything set up. So you don't got to listen to me ramble on for ever and ever, but at the same time, I totally get it. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving pieces for us here at Geek Variants. It's been a huge um, growth spurt. Thanks to you guys, the viewers, you guys have been blessing us in so many regards for everyone who has either subscribed or has started following greatly appreciate you guys we can put we can put in all the work we want but at the same time without you the viewer checking in liking the content subscribing to that content or sharing that content around if you're a more passionate fan wanted to get more of your friends along with us hey more power to you appreciate you guys in each and every way possible that we possibly can to get things you know growing us a little bit bigger here because we have very large aspirations for this channel and all the different things that we can have happen here for all of us so that we can go on and enjoy things a lot about those just games with great movies and shows if done correct i'm not gonna lie though grand theft automotive if done like free guy would be incredible jason i hear you my friend my main question though are we going vice city first are we starting san andreas the original are we going to go on and maybe just try and skip all the way to 
uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Because, uh, I mean, that I think Nico Bellic would be very entertaining to see in his own little TV series. We're going to have everything kind of set up in the same universe, but happening in different areas at the same time. You could potentially have every MC from those universes running around at the same exact time, which I think would be absolutely crazy. Plus, um, a live action Trevor. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5 Trevor. I'm I'm in. As long as we don't have to get asked to go bowling all the time, yeah, I'm I'm totally for it because that was the number one thing for Grand Theft Auto 4 where I was just I was out, my friend. I I just couldn't deal with it. The possibilities are absolutely endless. And then I honestly think if we did Bethesda, I would prefer a TV series for each of the respective games because there's so much lore, so much backstory. You'd have to find a nice way to interweave the story so that you can make sense of the Thieves Guild or you go through um, everything involving like Solstheim. We go through like all the vampire hunters, the Dawn Guard. It's like you would have to make everything go perfect. I don't want to play darts. Yeah, I hear you. I don't want to play darts either. I don't really want to do all these bowling side quests, these dart side quests, all the weird dating side quests you had just to have your relationship kind of amount to a whole load of nothing. It's like Grand, Grand Theft Auto 4's dating was weird for me. Like, I, I just didn't interest me. The fifth one, I just didn't even partake with it whatsoever. And I'm sure there could be tons of shenanigans that could be covered under the Amazon flagship because I don't think there's another company I would trust to do mature content the way that they've done it, even though HBO, you know, Game of Thrones, House of the Dragons, they have mature titles under their belt. But at the same time, I'm not really a huge fan of continuing to push incestual type stories forward as much as we are. Even though, I mean, we're going to sit here and cover the show because it's amazing. But at the same time, we don't really need more mature content of that style. We just need more mature content where there's more cussing, there's more crazy action, there's weird side quests that don't really make sense, and things are just bizarre for any number of uh, circumstances for everybody and for everything. Um, there's a lot of great things that can be done. And people, you can follow us on Twitch or on YouTube. Makes absolutely no difference. Watch from your preferred method of choice, and we'll pull up our Fallout off to the side, and we'll let you know where we're at the episodes. So when you come on in, we can keep things moving forward. And that way, um, if you guys have questions or if we have questions, because I'm relatively new to the Fallout series, because, I mean, only a couple hours in, you're only going to get so much lore. There's only so much foundation that I can build. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert when I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Just because you put me up on a social media platform and said, hey, Geek Variants, where we cover all things geek, doesn't mean I'm a master geek, and it definitely means I'm not going to be a gatekeeping geek. So, based upon that noise, it sounds like someone is trying to join me. I wonder where he could be hiding. And there he is. The man, the myth, the marvel, sneaking in after having some nice late night snacks i think uh absolutely you know i got them kids make sure they get fed so i gotta eat last so. the parental duties never end just as we are currently parenting this lovely channel that you had the lovely idea of starting up and look at us now a couple years later all thanks to everyone who's hit that lovely red subscribe button has greatly pushed us to a place where Hell, I didn't even think we would necessarily be at this moment in time. Uh, let's see, back to Jason. I mean, when you have an actress in the cast whose last name is Alcock, I'm guessing it's going to be a saucy show. Hey, honestly, I hear you loud and clear. Certain jokes just write themselves. There's certain things and certain uh, manners and forms and fashions where you just kind of have to make a light, nice, light joke of it. Because, I mean, literally earlier we were covering X-Men 97. I got Gambit who looks literally nothing like Bishop or acts nothing like Bishop, mixed up. It's the second time in two weeks that's happened. I'm so relatively new on this X-Men content, it is embarrassing. And I'm sure Will and Tony had an absolute field day listening to me make all these kinds of mistakes left, right, and center. That being said, that being said, I would challenge you to name at least three characters of the Fellowship and Lord of the Rings. And I'd, I'd be shocked to see how you do. Sitting the bar pretty low here. Aragorn. You got a main man, King of Gondor. Uh, freaking the legless pirate. Freaking, what's his name? Yeah. The elf with the, with the 
He got so. Oh, we're so just gonna stereotype people by race now? Is that is that what we're he's doing? An elf. Is he not freaking? His name's being an legless. Whatever. I don't know him. That guy. That's and, two. Uh, and freaking, what's his name? The guy with the axe. Don't, don't, don't say short Wait. round. Hey, <laughs> hey, short round is now Ouroboros. Okay, freaking, he was doing his thing. Uh, hang on, I know it. I know it. No, you don't. Yeah, Gimli. Oh, you got me. You got three. You got three. Proud of you. I name nobody else. It's only because I played the Lego Lord of the Rings with the kids. Do I know anything about Lord of the Rings? Honestly, I have not played those ones. But anything Lego, I'm immediately curious because I don't care how old we are. There is no age limit on being a geek. If you say it's in Legos, I'm going to want to play with it, whether it's a video game or the actual Legos themselves. I mean, I got a Mandalorian head back here that is all Lego. I was terrible at building it, but I got done. I only had two meltdowns, just so everyone's clear. There are only two, as we're usually there's significantly I mean, more. You see what's on my shelf, just Legos after Lego after Lego after Lego after Lego. So. I am still shocked you have Mandalorian up there, considering Star Wars isn't necessarily like your favorite or your bread and butter. I got into it because of Mandalorian, again, trying to learn a little bit more. But you see most of them are Marvel films. I got one Mandalorian one batman so but everything else up there that's lego is all marvel so because marvel will always own your heart and you're repping your iron man loud and proud and i am repping deadpool because mark with a mouth i'd love to see him in x-men 97 he won't be there for obvious reasons yeah. but i can i can still dream i mean you can always dream deadpool and wolverine come out they may allude to it or something like who knows deadpool can do anything he wants to do so I mean, it would make the universe even darker than it already is. Because, like, if you guys haven't watched X Men '97, yo, go ahead and watch episode five. I'm not saying necessarily leave us, but play it in the background. Hey, did the watch party error? Uh, what do you mean there, Big Tony Bruiser? Because the watch party is necess not necessarily us watching it on the screen. We don't have the uh, don't rights have or permissions to go ahead and do so, and they changed Twitch. So that you wouldn't be able to have that as well on the fifth. If you had a Prime Vit membership, you used to be able to, but they changed it five days ago. So we're yeah. kind of—I don't know why they changed it. Now. They, said it, they said it wasn't as popular as they wanted it to, uh, to be, so they decided to cancel. Which doesn't make any sense for the simple fact that every time—and um, I'll look into that. Uh, oh, if you're talking about the watch party error on the Amazon, sorry to cut you off there. That was given out to certain content creators so that they can stream it directly and they can get a head start on everybody. Like the people who got like behind the scenes access, who have huge channels, huge followings, their communities built around Bethesda or Elder Scrolls or uh, just something of that nature. So they'd be able to have that covered. So that is probably a faulty thing that they sent out and they were expecting most people to just try it. But at the same time, I think they're going to hard lock everybody for at least the next 12 minutes. Some people might get lucky and get in and guess. But at the same time, I wasn't really going to try and force my way through. I'm okay with waiting with you guys, the geeks, so we can kind of, you know, talk shop, talk about what we do, let you know, like, what it is Geek Variance has to offer. So you can kind of get to know me. You can kind of get to know Will. Uh, Tony's already in bed because he's an old man. It's past his bedtime as it is. So... He already gave his expertise on all things X-Men, so we're just kind of, you know, talking shop for that moment in time. I wish the code worked, though. I wish there was a way to kind of, like, find a way around it, but I'm not going to be here live on air saying, hey, this is how you do it. I have no idea. I, I really don't. I'm not going to try and speculate too much on that front. Um, if you have any ideas, Will, I mean, by all means, share it with the class. Uh, no, not, not at all. I'm not sure how uh, all that stuff was set up. So I'm actually taking a look at it right now. Because but, my uh, understanding from a lot of the big creators that I follow that they had access codes that were given directly to them by Amazon or by Bethesda, whichever one they were more closely associated with. So they can go ahead and get the uh, live stream up and running. So I'm, I'm, I'm not shocked they went this route. But at the same time, it feels like a um, it could rub people the wrong way. We're kind of like trying to new and trying to get into it because they'll probably try and force their way through for that first half hour and then ultimately not be able to do what they want. 
and they'll be kind of in a bad situation. They'll have a bad taste in their mouth going into the series. And if the series turns out to be bad, that's just asking for the floodgates to open unnecessarily, in my opinion. What's your thoughts? No, I, I agree with you. Uh, um, I went and clicked on some buttons or whatever, and uh, I'm watching a bunch of ads. A bunch of ads popped up for me, like Fallout-themed ads. So you can win Caviar times 10, a record player, the Vault Dweller Pack. And I'm seeing a couple clips from the show. It's like a mm. little trailer. Because yeah, I know they got the trailer up, but I have only seen that they have the other vaults set up and just waiting on the rest of everything else. Because For me, I don't have any episodes that are up there and loaded at this moment in time. And again, I want to stress for everyone who is here watching with us, be sure to watch us on your preferred streaming service, whether it be YouTube or Twitch. Makes no difference. Just want to have you along for the ride and talk about this amazing series that happened. We ran this live stream last time for avatar was our last big one we had a great time talking shop with everybody we watched i want to say what the first five episodes you want to say yeah yeah four or five okay we was on there and then we took a little break came back for the rest one i think with we have both in the intention of finishing well starting and finishing the series in one go and giving our season one recap by the end of the night if all things go well or if not we'll just reconvene tomorrow and do the season one full recap at that time but we'll watch with you guys the fans because the series is going to be dropping in here about nine minutes it still kind of sucks they teased us this way in this manner but again if you are a bethesda fan you're very accustomed to waiting i have like skyrim bought four different times i'm waiting for elder scrolls six and the rumor is Right now, the Elder Scrolls 6 is in a playable state, which is better than any other Bethesda game that we've had thus far. I'm just saying. They're not glitches, they're features, would be the you know the Elder Scrolls fans' motto for everything ongoing there. I don't know how many glitches or bugs Fallout really had, because again, I played like 10 hours of it. I got a little bit into it, but then the world for me just wasn't... It wasn't doing enough. It wasn't giving me that nostalgia that hit. I could have jumped out too early, though. So that that could be on me. I usually like to give my games very solid shakes. Because, again, if you're going to spend, you know, 40, 50, 60 bucks a pop, you're going to want to get your money's worth. You're not going to want to go out, play something, well, buy something, play it for two hours, say this is hot garbage because the Internet told me it was hot garbage, and then yeet it out of the camera you know what i'm saying it's like if you're gonna put money into it you want to make sure that you're getting the most bang for your buck and as far as most games i'll usually give it at least 10 hours or at least two or three main missions and if it's not appealing to me at that moment in time then i'll be out like i think the last game i played that i didn't thoroughly enjoy enough to continue it was assassin's creed valhalla i was hyped for it and it just I just couldn't finish it. Uh, you have any games you've recently bought, Will, that you've played for a while and then put back down? Um, let's see. Uh, Elden Ring was one. Uh, it, Due to the difficulty, or was it like uh, just the yeah. lore? Um, I, I, I'm going to say skill issue. That's what that like. And it is like, I can play it. Like, I was playing it. I got uh decently far uh like, i don't know all the names of the guys i end up beating the guy and decently far in terms of me uh i beat like i think three of the big bosses and stuff that were kind of bugging me but uh i just didn't have the time to sit down and play as much of it as i wanted to and just like dedicate myself to it because you got to put in some hours to get that and as you put in your hours for that you get better so that uh me putting in like two or three hours here or there which is not like, not cutting it like you gotta sit down and like run through some stuff because i was losing you know lives freaking you know little souls tokens whatever like i was losing a bunch of stuff and just was not surviving so that would be one uh cyberpunk was the other one i put down until they uh did some fixing on it and then came back to it and turned out it was amazing after they fixed it um but i also played assassin's creed valhalla and i mean a lot of the assassin's creed games and stuff like that have been kind of hit or miss for me 
So I think Black Flag was the last one I was fully on board with. That was the last one I fully completed was Black Flag. I was there for the sea shanties and the boat fights. Like, yo, I love the ship to ship combat. Like that was so fun for me. Like, the fact they didn't just go out and make just a ship to ship combat fighting game directly after that one, based upon people's opinions at the time of that, to me is a little shocking. But again, it's Ubisoft. Sometimes they uh, can miss the mark, if you know what I'm saying. The yeah. game I should have put down that I kept playing is probably going to irk you a little bit, but uh, Marvel's Avengers. No. Should, should have put that down. It can stay down. I'm tired of that crap, man. That pissed me off. Oh. For those that are unaware, that game was literally Ooh. a copy and paste sandbox repetitive game where the story was not existent. Garbage. And the way the combat was, they could have really done a lot of great things with it because the combat is enjoyable. But because you're playing the same level over and over and over again with slightly different backdrops, sucks. It took any and all enjoyment out of the game that you possibly could have. They literally just took a really good product and kept kicking it. And I think that was probably one of the times where I was most upset with Square Enix. But at the same time, I'm not necessarily certain all of the blame can fall with square on that one. Yes, I agree. It's like there there was a lot of moving pieces that weren't done correctly even. Also, I will say the fact that we had such a prestigious actor to well voice actor, I should say, play Iron Man and Iron Man wasn't even good in that game. I was a little perturbed by. No. Uh, he's he's a great voice actor, but I don't think that was the role for him. Redeeming quality of the game. Is there one? Yes, there's one. One. Okay. I'll hear you out. All right. The fight mechanics for the characters. Not all. Cap, that Iron Man, enjoyable. and Thor all had good fight mechanics. Like, you could actually do things that made sense for the characters. Again, being able to jump up and do your repulsor blast and freaking, you know, fly across the map. Thor being able to fly across the map, put his hammer down on somebody's chest, walk away, fight someone else barehanded, call his hammer back, do stuff. Cap throwing his shit like all of that was solid, good. Like I thought it was great as far as combat is concerned. Until they start getting some other characters. Again, you got Clint Barton, Hawkeye put in there. And then you also had Kate Bishop, which are essentially the same character again, but different fighting styles. But it's like I don't need two. I don't need two archers. You could have had a different character substitute at that point. And at that time, did they have the rights that they could have put in like a mutant? Or were they still trying to push the... I mean, it's, it's not the Inhumans, right? Yeah, like, it was still... Uh, no, when the game started developing, it wasn't uh, Inhumans. And, uh, I mean, Inhumans they weren't really worried about. But X-Men they still didn't have uh, the rights to. So it was still just mainly Avengers. And they had to uh, sweet talk the Spider-Man thing, which is supposed to be the exclusive. But again, it didn't show up until way after the game had dropped, and everybody was and already people gone. had already left by then. Yeah, it, it was over. So it was just aggravating. So and then they dropped Black Panther two, didn't they? Black Panther was good. That content was good in terms of the story arc and the new area was was cool. But again, it was still you introduced new enemies, and it was still more of the same. Like okay, cool, we got some new enemies. Now it's a rinse and repeat of these enemies, and. The, the the boss fights and stuff weren't freaking weren't anything worthwhile to really hang on to. Like I didn't care. Oh, and if ever me and Will are just in a conversation about games or TV shows or anything, feel free in the chat. Say something that disappointed you, something you weren't really interested, something you weren't really feeling. At Geek Variants, your opinion and your voice is more than welcome to be heard. We don't have to necessarily agree, but we're not gonna sit here and gatekeep be like our opinions are the only correct opinions because what's the point of being in a geek group like that? Just, just to be fair, like we want everyone to be heard. Sometimes I have terrible, terrible hot takes that will just can't believe I said out loud. Sometimes will says some things about star Wars where I just kind of look at him funny. It, it happens to all of us. And then sometimes Tony's just on shenanigans. He's usually right, but don't tell him that. And, He's not going to watch this anyway, so he won't know. But, well, you know, sometimes he, he does some stuff where you, you know, give him a little bit of a side eye. Be like, hmm, 
I don't I don't see what you're doing here. I don't see what the purpose of what was transpiring was. I think the and vault about to open. I was gonna say the vault is about a minute away from opening, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, just kind of see where all things geek can go from there. Very, very excited here. Um, looks like we're almost at that m magical moment. See where everything's done. I'll leave a message in the chat real quick. Fallout is live once the episode does show up. Because I still am waiting on the official drop there. Because... Three, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, yeah, it, it's showed up for me inside the vault. Where did you click for that, Just I went, I did the, ins clicked on the vault 33, went inside the vault thing on the computer. In uh, is it vault 33? Whatever was popped up on the thing. I went in there, listed the ads and stuff, and I was just sitting in there. And now it's allowing me to to do it so now i'm checking the uh checking the apps because i'm just seeing the giveaway right now but i'm not seeing much of else of anything okay there it goes um click does it say bonus watch uh not seeing that at this moment in time so there was a thing on the screen. Uh, one more, uh, looking on the PlayStation it says you can bonus watch. I clicked into it. They let me scroll to the uh, current episode. First episode, hour fourteen minutes. Mm. May have to reset your browser. May have to reset my browser here because not seeing anything about the episode. So that's a little disappointing. Go on ahead without me. I will catch up. We don't necessarily have to be in perfect sync. Just be having a regular issue over here. And usually my tech issues are known to be a problem. So I'm not not really all that shocked. That's a season one teaser trailer. There's a bonus there. There's a bonus there. Click the bonus. And, this, and that's what I did. I clicked the bonus and it let me scroll to the actual episode. To the actual episode? Because all I have for under the bonuses is two three-minute long things, and that's it. Look into it to watch it, and then go from there. Then, uh, again, I'm on the PlayStation watching the PS5, and uh, it allowed me to scroll at the bottom to the current episode. Yeah, I'm just going to have to exit out of Amazon Prime Video and try again. Prime Video. Fallout Season 1. Okay. Home all. Fallout. Watch now. That's a trailer again. They said you can't watch. Oh, there it is. No, that's Beacon. That's not it. Or is that it? What, the name of the first episode? The name of the first episode is called The End. Yep, they got me on something else. Kind of shenanigans they got me on here. I see you over there, Gerard. Don't think I don't see you over there. <laughs> I know. I didn't you. chat. Trying to figure out how this is playing out. Yeah, 
because I still don't have access, so I'm just watching the teaser and seeing what happens. I don't know if I did something or I'm like on their ban list. They're upset with me. Either way, super excited to get in some Fallout once it actually drops. Oh. It's, no, let me see. Uh, let me see. Now, it's already starting off kind of a. Uh... Interesting, I guess, kind of how things, uh, how things kind of get to where they are. So, hmm. Yeah, this is wild. I wonder if it's literally just me having issues getting in. Anybody else in the watch party having issues watching this, or is it just me being me? It is you being you? Right now, see, I can figure out your uh, it just keeps taking me the same dang cheeser trailer. What in the world? Watch episode one now. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Go ahead. I will catch up because I am excited to see this. I'm excited to watch with all you geek variants. See all the good stuff we got covered for you. We'll be watching the entirety of the series tonight if all goes to plan and fruition. The more of you in the chat, the more likely we're going to stay on the whole time. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Unless your name is Gerard. In which case, go to bed, old man. We love you, but go to bed. He won't until he aggravates us. Probably. Because this whole universe is weird if you've never touched Fallout. The entire Fallout I, I, universe. I'm not a big Fallout guy. Like, I've seen the games of it, but I've never really played. So I just know how some of the stuff looks and uh, what the general premise of the game is. But, yo, this is kicking off with a bang. Like, for real. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I played about 10 hours of the game. I thoroughly enjoyed what I did play, but at the same time, there wasn't enough for me to be like, I'm going to keep pushing forward. So I just set it down for the time. I never like re got back into it because I picked up Skyrim and that was it. <clears throat> Bit of a Bethesda kick there for a while. All right, freaking. I'm, I'm gonna hold up here while you uh catch up with that. Uh, what minute marker are you at? Just so I can let you know when we can resynchronize. Seven twenty-two. So I'm five minutes behind. Yeah. So all right. So with the with the start of this again, they said that this series is not going to have any direct connection to any of the games. So 
it's going to be a, on its kind of own standalone thing. And I think it's kind of the same way that kind of happened with Last of Us. Um, again, just take Even the base. They covered most of what the game story yeah, was. Just take the base, pay, take the base game, so with it, and put what you can in. But Last of Us was just one game. This is a game that has spanned several games. All right. They did, you know, Fallout's what, one through four, including some of the spinoffs and stuff, like the New Vegas and all that. So they got a lot more content that they can pull from to add to the show to to make it more interesting or to to decide how they want to uh turn stuff into a different direction so a lot of people are going to have nice little callbacks to certain things uh, i'm definitely going to be looking at any easter eggs for that that uh i know from the small amount of time i play i think i've played less than you but um yeah i mean it should be really good uh because already the main character again whose name is uh lucy with that uh her name was lucy mclean which i just started thinking about john mclean and you know how everything just kind of went to Yippee-ki-yay. you know that's just kind of i think everything kind of went to hell and you know he was just like all right, i gotta handle it so i'm kind of getting the same vibes as far as what lucy's got to do hmm. um but yeah the show I me mean, the show starts off with you know you see that classic freaking uh that blue and yellow uniform kind of sitting in and so I was going to say, when we were talking about Last of Us, did Last of Us the first game, because it's been a while since I touched the series, um, the end of one, is that basically where we left off at the end of season one, where Joel had taken Ellie? Or is that something that was more incorporated in the two? It's been a minute since I played the game, so I think I played it all. Did it, was it on PS4? It was on PS4. PS3. PS3? Yeah. Yeah, start on PS3, did PS4, and then PS5. Yeah, I played it when it first came out. Um, so, yes, yeah, that's, that's a while ago. Um, but now, everything that happened in the first game was roughly about the first season. That uh, everything up to like, hey, we got the whole little medical thing and and figure that stuff out. Like that's where the first game ended, and then the second game picks up. So. I'm pretty sure the second season will again harken to the second game, um, and that's going to give them free reign to if they do do a third season to go in any direction they want to go in. They can literally write the story however they want to, unless it's going to coincide with a third Last of Us, which I do not know if they're currently in development for or not. Based off of there's a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation right now. Based off of, I mean, the way that the, the the way that the story is of the game, you can do it however you want. But the way the events of the second game turned out, which a lot of people weren't too happy with, some people were like, "Holy crap!" Again, I'm all for shock value and you know how things go, but again, within reason. Um, yeah, I didn't really care for how certain things transpired, and huh, I'm gonna watch season two. I'm not happy about season two, of, you know, where it's going. So it's just going to be a wait and see at this point. But, you know, um, I just saw the quick. slowest mushroom cloud I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm at the almost six minute mark just for clarification. Yeah, so freaking uh, in the beginning of the vault, like when the thing first premiered, like Todd Howard, like he came on and was talking about just thanking everyone for the game, uh, you know, or for like coming on, I guess, and just what Bethesda is doing and how all the stuff is rolling. Uh, it'd be great freaking that uh, if they show something because of the, the amount of time that passes that you're in the vault, because we know it's like 200 plus years. It'd be great if we like see a copy of like Elder Scrolls 6 or something on the ground somewhere. That'd be a perfect teaser. Yo, that would be absolutely outstanding. If it happens, I'm calling it now. I'm just saying like that would be great. Like, I would throw that in there somewhere just to mess with people. You know, like, oh, there's the cover art. Oh, my God. It's happening. It's coming. And then we still probably wait two years to get it. But hey. Two? Two? Hey. You're hopeful, aren't you? Very. I am beyond hopeful in terms of when it's going to show up. But, again, until then, I got other games I can play. Uh, currently playing Dragon's Dogma. So, that's definitely a fun one. All right. I have just seen the Fallout title at 7.06. So if you wanted to resync, by all means, go ahead and continue. 
Right. But yeah, that cowboy was doing the most. Same that little girl. Yeah. So it's 200 and something years later. I just call it like 219 or 13, something like that. So it's uh, 219 shoot. years later. 219. So they're in Vault 33. And I'm taking notes also, just because that's how I need to be with this. Oh, same, same. Ooh, that was a good move. Nice arm bar. She got nines, and she said she's not very good. No, right? No, he's more into tech. How'd they get Tony on the board? Who knows? He's just guest starring and stuff, not telling us now. Triennial trade of Vault 32. That's a pit boy that they got on their arm. With their uh, marriage application approved. Lucy. So this may be in chapters and stuff. So she's getting married. That person is pregnant, whoever that is. So is she getting married and then traded to Vault 32? I think this is how they're trying to like figure out how the human race is going to continue to survive in some respects while in the vaults. But like eventually they're going to wonder what's going on in the world outside or around them. Yeah, because there's got to be people that survive and maybe there's some mutated people or whatever i mean we saw there are mutated people yeah look they're handing down wedding dresses the explosion happened in 2077 watch that be like something that's like an easter egg for like the simpsons as well Shh, man after 10 years of cousin stuff Excited for the real thing. What the? <laughs> Yo. Oh. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Yo, I, I wasn't ready for that, okay. Or uh, speaking of the Targaryens. It, weren't we just talking about freaking, you know. Game of Thrones, yeah. <laughs> Keep it up with the Targaryens. Everyone's favorite show <laughs> returning this May. Also, how big is this vault? That's. I was wondering how they're doing at projectors. So, uh, not sure the size of the vault. That's a good question. Um, but it's got to be pretty sizable enough for them to freaking you know sustain freaking. I mean, so far it looks like at least like seventy to a hundred people. So. And she's been blanking her cousins. Apparently. So now she's like so pleased that she's able to. Be with somebody else who's not blood related. I know. It... So. What happened to her mom? Mm. So he was in Vault 31. So it looks like he went to Vault 33 to be with her. So everyone's just kind of swapping all the way around. Right. Well, because it seems like you, ra you raise your yeah, that's right, cousin. So you raise your family within the vault, right? Freaking, and then you transfer from vault. So essentially, vaults become, you know, majority family and stuff like that. And then eventually, you got to trade out, I guess, to to keep the thing going. And, all these and honestly, if like if this became the moment you're with your first and second cousins, just become celibate. Don't. None of that weird, none of that nonsense. Look, man, there's got to be some porn that survived somewhere. Like, what? <laughs> hey, what Only are... fans still ongoing. Only vaults. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Your brother is <laughs> He's on one. So Lucy and Norman. Her dad is uh He seems agreeable enough at this moment in time. Got a gatekeeper. I think that's probably a very serious job. He probably knows more than he's letting on. And even in those days, Tumblr is an issue. Yeah. That's her cousin. Is that her cousin? Is that her cousin? Is Chet her cousin? That's her cousin. Wow. All right. We are all in on this. We are balls deep in some incestual stuff on this show already. We haven't even made it, you know, what, 10 minutes? Okay, we made it 13 minutes. So all the vaults are connected, it looks like. So freaking, they just got to go in order, 31, 32, whatever. So who knows how many vaults there are. Also makes you wonder how they're sending messages back and forth from vault to vault. Telegrams is how they communicate. She is horny as all get out. Who is she marrying? Let's see. Survey says uh, this guy. Monty, huh? The Count of Monte Cristo. That's her husband. <laughs> She's like lucky. Her husband's standing right behind her. They wild. He's they just wild. out here catching strays, but this guy could be gay for all we know. You just be like, I ain't interested in this. Because he doesn't seem very thrilled about this prospect. Nope. Like he's just trying to eat. Like he's hungry. He's just stealing food. Because he did mention that his vault wasn't doing. Yeah, they weren't doing so good. They had a blight or something. So that's why they're trading them seed and parts. This could be a hostile takeover. She just asked him what his sperm count was. Kind of personal. She's like, just shove a baby in me, why don't you? I know, right? Like, there's so many religions in the world that would just want her right now. Be like, boom, sign so her up. Vault 32, man. I'm not. Vault 32 ain't right. Something ain't right. Something smells very, very fishy. And it's not just the inbreeding. <laughs> Trying to watch some radiation levels to drop. Yeah, every time, though, you hear news like that, yeah, you just raise an eyebrow. Don't you? Or is that just me? Oh, no, I do. I do. See, look, the, the overseer, she looks like she's up to something. And that guy looks like he's figuring it out slowly, but surely something. Yeah, right? Norman? Norman? Oh. Yeah. It already has. It already has changed us all. 
Come on, wait for things to get violent. Okay, he warmed up a little bit there. He warmed up a little. Playing his part better. Whatever it may be. Makes you kind of also wonder about the council, like how much information they truly know yeah, versus what everyone else knows. It's like how much information they're actually given, what the deal is. Are they plotting on anything? Are they setting stuff up? Freaking. I mean, because you got to think about when you're in a situation like this, the best thing to do is to preserve resources. So when, throwing a bash like this is well, a little. I mean, throwing the bash is one thing, but wouldn't you freaking eliminate people? Because you got to think about how, uh, like, just because we watch X Men, X Men, you, you want, you know, it's always about the superior race and stuff with. You know, mutants versus humans and stuff like that, and we're gonna make sure that we survive and we can care less about humans, which is kind of what Magneto was on for a minute. Um, but with that being said, it's like you know they want to make sure that everybody survives, or they want to make sure that the top people survive. Okay, uh, why was that shot so ominous for no reason? It's like the lights. Also, you feel like with people coming together like this from different vaults, that you guys wouldn't just you know everybody find a room and uh hey see what happens look at look at her look at her she is put it together Mormon. put it together she's ready to jump his existence that dress is going to be off before that door is closed you just close that door real Real suspect. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Nope, that's male butt cheeks. Hello. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, she said, put a baby in me. I mean, she said she was tired of a cousin, so... He's got a lot of weird scars going on. Yeah. Well, considering everyone's living inside, that's pretty uh, interesting. Yeah, she knew what to do. <laughs> well, she's been doing it with her cousins. So yeah. cool. That table's strong enough for that? Also, that's not the best position for this, but I hear you guys' enthusiasm. All right, he's going into 32. Is he, why was Ox's live removed for watching this? Say again? Who is Ox? Ox who? Ox Horn? Interesting name as well. Because someone could have been live streaming it when they weren't supposed to be. Ox oh, I, I know Ox Horn is live streaming it. I mean, that's. I um, mean, if but, you're a certain creator, you can probably get a pass to where you can do it, but I know you can't play it live on Twitch or YouTube without the express written consent of Amazon Prime Video. So. Yeah. So. It probably could have been removed for other reasons. Hence why we're not, you know, playing it right here in the middle where we have this lovely gap where we could have if it was approved. But it's not. So we're watching and just discussing with fellow members of our community about it. So like all the crops are jacked up. They've been living on freaking nothing. Like they've been just. They're going to jack the resources. I'm calling it now. They're going to jack the whole vault, I think. I think they're good. They could be systematically moving from vault to vault. They're just terrible farmers, but they're good killers. Yeah, something happened. Something really, really bad really happened. I would already be running back to everybody else and saying, hey, hey, guys. Oh. What the hell is... They were eating him. Yeah. Hmm. He's happy to have water. All right, so let's, each one is independent on their own with their resources. 
So each vault probably had a set amount of resources that they had to so this take care of, build up, and keep keep going. Like if you didn't do the work, you couldn't. That's why he was so hungry. That's why he's drinking all that water. He's been to the surface. Oh, yep, they definitely have been. And she just, you know, had him Raiders all up in her. Yep. They broke into one of the vaults, went down there, took out everybody. That's why the guy passed. Sorry to hear about this such a passing and she took over because she's playing the part. Nope. Don't you hate domestic violence in the home? Boy, I hate it all together. Oh, that's a little sharp. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the dick shot will always work. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe he's sterile because he's been irradiated so much. Probably. But I think we did see her pregnant in another one of the shots, so there could be... Possible, yeah. Yeah. I kind of avoid it as much as I can. Yeah, he got her good. All right. That's, That's a problem. Oh, she's a star, so she's not dying this this early on. So, how's she gonna get out of this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh. that'll do it. That knife isn't the only thing that's been inside her in the last 20 minutes. Hey, yo. <laughs> it's probably the biggest thing, though. I would hope so. That knife is massive. This is going to hurt. Yep. The rest of her family is probably dead. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure a lot of people are. They got into the armory. There you go. That's something, right? Run it. A little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> Hopefully her dad's at least adept at defending. What is in there? Is it like a virus or something? Or Not too sure, to be honest. Like, bam, common cold. <laughs> Boom, influenza. Oh, he's high as a kite. Tony, what are you doing in the middle there? Well, that sugar getting to them. Huh? They eating good in the neighborhood. There's a brother.
That's one way of doing it. I think this might be the worst wedding we've seen. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, it's the pregnant one. Oh, she's actually upset her husband died. Yo! <laughs> oh! I... And a therapist. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, right in the freaking eye. Okay. No, nice shot. There's a lot of eye shots in the show. Oh. Oh, he's good. He is huh. powering through some serious pain right now, considering but he's missing. They had some stuff they were high on, right? That inhaler. It's like he's missing the right portion of his face. Yeah, you better you better finish that. Do a nice good little double tap. Just to be sure. You can never be too careful. Not the pickles. Those are still good pickles. Not anymore. Got a little bit of... Also, can you imagine that pickle juice in an open wound? Especially your face. Yep, time to loot. Loot your way out of there. Yeah. Oh. Well, damn. I think their plan went off without a hitch. Yeah. Okay. He's actually thinking about this. Like a one-way door? 
Nobody? So the Raiders feel some kind of way because they were the regular civilians and the people with the vaults were the wealthy, I'm assuming. I guess something to that effect. Because there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. A lot to unravel here. And we're only, what, 30 something minutes in? Yeah. Trying to figure out whether now we're now in the past or the still in the present. Oh, there's a bunch of sky and stuff. Trying to figure it out. Maximus. Nice flag. <laughs> Brotherhood of Steel. You don't want to write that down. Yeah. Catholic Church when the military had a baby. Something like that. What the heck is that? These nuts. Not a not a clue. Oh, whatever it is is oh. uh, aircraft carrier type deal. That's cool. So someone very important is definitely in there. Very, very important in there. Also, they're spending a lot of time with this guy. So T sixty model. Target. Oh, this is how they draw faces and stuff? With targets? 
it does not look like a fun job. Oh, uh, that's like, he's, clean, he's cleaning the crackers. Ah. He's not very popular with anybody else but this trick. I mean, no. The Dane. Pilots and mechanics only. Probably should have read the big fancy sign. I would love to have one of those. Yeah. Those look tight. Even care for a reason. He's like, let's get out of here. Move on. Aspirant. What's that? Aspirant. It's not how you play basketball. It's like basketball and like the Mayans version of basketball had a baby and somehow we use it with bricks. So that guy's jerking off. All right. I don't know if the military is like that, but I don't want to know. What happens, happens. It happens. Why? I don't know. You keep it in your pants for like 10 minutes to get off base. You're wearing a military uniform. It's kind of hard not to find somebody to be with. So they get shirts when they get anointed. It's like they're still doing the whole elite thing. I mean, good for her for getting promoted. She seemed like she was genuinely one of the few good people out there. But he's going to feel some kind of way. Because like when your buddies get you know, promoted and you're still just bottom grunt, probably feels some kind of way about it. Broke my crapper. But I ain't gonna lie though, like I'm pretty sure everyone's gone off at an inanimate object at any well, one moment in time throughout their lives. Ooh. Oh. Ow. Someone sabotaged it, and they're blaming him for it. That's not how you win friends or influence people right there. Mm. <laughs> Nothing happened. Everything's fine. It's kind of cool they have a little like mini staple gun that works like that, but still. Mm -hmm. 
is down about like 60 people. Yeah. As the leaders, y'all survive. Like, where did where did y'all go? We we saw homeboy was a coward, but we didn't see what happened to the other two. Yeah, like where were they at? Also, I recognize her from somewhere. She's in a lot of stuff. What was she in? Leslie Uggams. Oh, Deadpool. Houston. Oh, that. Super badass grandma. Hell yeah. The one who was blind and Deadpool was making the moves on. Uh, Happy she's still out here getting work. It's like, truth be told, this chick who's the main, I have no idea. I've never seen her in anything before. Don't lose your head. Like she's holding it down right now. <laughs> yeah, you don't look suspicious. These buzzes going on. Nobody hear that? <laughs> Probably by the time they do hear it, it's too late to react. If you're in a freaking bunker, you hear a alarm going off. You better be reacting. Like... That being said, Lucy seems to be the only person holding it down at all right now. And because we all know Chet is involved, because he still wants to bang his cousin. Yeah, Norm. I'm still wondering what his intent, what the character's intentions are. But I mean, that's her brother, so I mean, it, it's nice that the individual is doing something about this. At least you know, trying to help out. I, do we honestly think Chet would survive though out there in the real world? Nope. Oh. Yeah, that's a big boy to let down. That is that is a, a large individual. At least you know. At least you know. He's too chicken. you're aware that part's okay you gotta know your strengths like if you me and tony got stranded out in the wilderness i would be the least useful member but i'd probably be in the best physical shape so i could be useful in other ways hey now hey stop seeing facts <laughs> Oh, that's the key. <laughs> Probably should take note of what condition she's in now. So by the time she returns, like what state could potentially be in if at that moment in time, they even circle back to what happens with this.
Really? That's all you got? <laughs> Young lady. I ain't stopping. No, you should. You could try, I guess. I mean, it didn't really seem like they tried all that hard. They just stood there. She could have been physically brought back. Bodies on bodies. I would assume it'd be quite jarring going from that peaceful, tranquil life she was at to now seeing what the nuclear fallout I mean, really is. She hasn't seen sunlight, so I mean, I feel her like her skin is going to be sensitive. Boy, you need like SPF one million or something. <laughs> something. I hope she's making a freaking a, a map of so she knows how to get back to Vault 33. I wish she's got that idea at the very least because it's a lot to uh, break down. It's a lot to process. You got a head on your... Sh I mean, at least they're this close to water. Looks Are like you... they were in New York, if I would hazard a guess. Is that what they're trying to say? Coney Island? The pier? Or is that... Um... Am I thinking of in California? Uh, no, Coney Island, you know, is New York. Um, yeah. But it could be anything. I, I'm not sure. Because like, that looks like a boardwalk. So, like, trying to figure out, at least on a map. Oh, here we go. We're going back to our, our, our friend here. Maximus. Did he go after his friend? I highly doubt it. Is he going to get blamed? Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, he's using one of them old school refrigerators out of somebody. I think the elder cleric was in Game of Thrones at some point. Hmm. Why are you getting so close to me, homie? Like, damn. Like. <laughs> Put your metal bulge away from me. I guess Ox did get removed, Bill. I'm assuming maybe didn't have the credentials to be live streaming. I don't know. I didn't see it. I wasn't watching it. We were doing our own live stream, and we're not showing the actual video just for legality purposes and don't want to follow suit. More than welcome to watch on your you know, computer, TV, phone, whatever, and follow along with us. We're still in episode one, the more the merrier.
I think this guy's gonna really need to toughen up on so many levels. Yeah. His work. If he gets time to. What? I thank him for what? For what are you thanking him for? Redeem you some. There we go. There's some resolve there. Conviction always helps. Just got that promotion. There we go. Let's go. He seems like a genuinely good dude. I feel like he's someone you could trust giving some modicum of power. We'll find out. Well, who messed up Dane? What if he did it? That's what I'm curious about. Because you can't tell her about your promotion now because she's going to definitely think you did it. I mean, that's, that'd be super unfortunate. It's like, they seem cool. It's not so bad. Half your foot's missing. Probably that country dude, the one they kept showing the camera to. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. He had some rage issues for a minute with that that pooper. Yeah, but I don't think he's going out of his way to hurt his friend like that. Because Dane mean, seems like a good individual. Did like, you see, look on his face, though. He was upset when he when Dane got chosen and Dane kind of left him in the dust. That happens, though. Sometimes certain people are just better at certain things than others. How does jealousy creeps in people? Jealousy is petty, but at the same time, of your own merit, you can make certain things happen. Just reapply yourself. All skills are learnable, for the most part. Oh, okay. you're not going to put that on your back, are you? <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. I don't think I want the promotion that bad. It's that guy. It's definitely that guy with a weird mustache. So T for Titus. So that's who he belongs to. T for some tickle bitties. My money is Titus is gonna kick the bucket and he's gonna take a suit at some point. Hmm. It doesn't look like much of a nation. To be fair. Where's his suit?
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, you're dismissed, aspirant. Better keep track of which night is yours. Oh, I don't want that job. That is grunt labor. I mean, low man on the totem pole. But again, you do what you do as part of a squad. Everyone's got to pull something that they don't want to. That suit's got to be like a million degrees. Maybe it's got air conditioning. Do they... Um, they obviously come out of the suit for maintenance and stuff like that, but I wonder how long they stay in that thing. Forever, they just live in it. I guess. Yeah, I think yeah, it was him. Had to be him, right? Who knows? My well, money's on that guy that just left, or or Maximus. One of the two. It's that dude. It's Thaddeus. It's got to be. That was his name, Thaddeus. Yeah. Anytime I'm not certain about a character's name, I just run my mouse over the uh, episode. It'll show you who's what. And he's off to a better life. Uh oh. The heck? Is that a baby foot? Ouch. He got killed with a baby foot. Hmm. Okay. I've never seen that happen. Looks promising. He does what with him? Dig him up, cut something off, and put him back in the ground. Okay. Chicken. Also, how'd this dude get fat in this environment? I don't mean to be that guy, but if food's scarce, being overweight should kind of be on the downturn, shouldn't it? Well, you're right. Unless you're eating good, I mean, you're stealing a lot of stuff. Yeah. What are we doing with this chicken? The chicken is there because if it's a ghoul in there, and if the guy is a ghoul, they can't resist going after a chicken. Like they got some kind of thing about chickens. So if he goes after the chicken, then they kill him immediately and they go on about their business. But if he doesn't go after the chicken, then they talk to him, I guess, and get whatever they need from him. Oh, hello. There's your hand. We're going to be making a friend or an enemy. I wonder if it's our cowboy friend. Mm. That's your buddy. Still alive 219 years later. No, he said his daddy used to work with him, so he had been dug up a couple times since then. Maybe dug up every 50 years or something. Interesting mutations, to say the least. He's missing a nose and some weird skin.
Is he gonna eat this chicken like uh, while it's alive? So they was in California. That's from that's from Moldaver is right now, I think. So mm -hmm. I do like the music that they got going this far. Yeah. You just shoot random things they find. Yo. Well, he's not gonna be ahead of the game. He is he is down for the count. Episode one has not disappointed at all. Nope. Our friend the cowboy is the ghoul. Chicken's like, ooh, man, I made it. <laughs> Chicken's like, what is going on? Episode one, massive success. On to the next one. Once I get past these Applebee's commercials. Mm. I wonder how much stock Shaq has in Carnival Cruise Line, getting all these commercials. Quite a bit. The target. Yeah, that was good. So, freaking episode two. We know you're ready. I am on episode two, and I am playing. Let's go. I'm hyped. I mean, this this has got my, my interest. Who is... What has this actor been in? Which one? Michael Emerson. He was in... Was he in Lost? I didn't watch Lost. You didn't miss much after season three. It ended terribly. 
Dr. Siggy Wilzig. All right, what are they doing with the dogs? So Michael Emerson is the one that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. But why they're interested in him, that's going to be the fascinating thing. He took the dog. Apparently, they're experimenting on the dog and the companion of the dog. So he wasn't supposed to take the dog, and he ran off with the dog for some reason. Oh, yeah, he was lost. He was, uh... He Look was... at all these guys with their dogs. Everyone's making friends. I hope. Because I know in the game you get a dog companion that kind of helps you out with your missions and kind of oh, okay. helps push that story along and all that good stuff. Maybe he knows something he's not supposed to let out. Oh, he was in the Arrow TV series. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and Part 2. He played Joker. And now we got a couple year grow up, so dogs, well, co probably a couple months, because dogs age significantly faster. Getting lost is his main thing. He's working on some kind of, I hope he's got a secret lab. All right, dog's a girl. What is he testing out over there? So he's going to hide her. Experimenting on yourself is a bit, a bit crazy. Mm. Ow. Just major ow there for sure. Wonder what he injected himself with. That's, that's my, uh main question here he injected himself and then cauterized it did he put something in there to hide it yeah he hid something in there hmm. see to what and to what extent what purpose Oh, don't pull that alarm. Do not pull that alarm. Yeah, dog said don't touch my friend. He's a good boy. A dangerous boy, but a good boy. Oh, it was not messing around. No. Yeah, but now he probably can't stay there for obvious reasons, so he escapes. And mm -hmm. that's why everyone's going to hunt him down. There is no way that machine missed. Just going to be that guy. How do you miss? How do you miss all of that? Like, there's no way. 
and back to our leading lady. So Moldova is from California, so that's probably on the California coast. So, uh, it would kind of make sense that some of the nuclear fallout started in California. But did it start there? Mm. Where we Definitely started there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, though, if I just saw Civilization for the first time, I would definitely go take a swim. You know, how much do they know? Do they know about sharks and jellyfish and all that other stuff? Freaking. Did they survive the nuclear fallout? Or did they mutate? No, I'm, I'm, I'm staying off the water. I changed my answer. We got like Godzilla roaming around out here. No, thank you. I got it in vault clothes though, real quick. That way, I'm not an easy target for raiders who hate me because of my class. So I'm assuming the vaulters were the wealthy, and the raiders were the poor, and that's how everything got. Raiders were poor who was left out of the vaults. So yeah. People who had the things. Because remember that guy was like, no, you can't come in and punch him and you try to get in his vault. He's like, no, only got enough food, water for one people. And that's how you got to be in some of these situations. You can't be comparing and compassion to everyone because either somebody's going to take advantage of you or you're not going to have enough to keep yourself sustained for the amount of time that you got set up. Like if I got enough food, I know I got enough food for freaking 120 days for me and my family. I can't afford to have a, a extra mouth in there because that's going to reduce your stuff severely. So, like, I understand both sides of the coin. But it's just like, it just—it's a terrible situation for anybody or anything to be in. Cause like, this looks like where at least where I'm at. It's like it's like a bad family outing. <clears throat> Like, whoever's been doing, like, the props for this show, so far, huge props, like, the backgrounds that they're building, the world and stuff. Huge props Re to the props. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huge props to the props. Plenty of air on that fire. Good for her. But now we got to wait for the fun that is the darkness at night. Everyone knows if you played RPGs at night, things get weird. Mm -hmm. You just start the fire out there in the open. Just you get have jumped pit. by God knows who eventually. You have the pit boy. All the way over there, not next to me. So where it should be. Oh. Oh, hello. Are you friend? Are you foe? Oh. Is it the dog? Yep, that's exactly who we're looking for. He just jumped her <laughs> straight up. That's a bug I don't want to have around. It's like a New York-sized roach.
you're making some points right now. Dude's spitting some truth. Mm -hmm. And you got to learn real quick. You gonna learn today. He's spitting facts, man. He's on to something right now. Uh, I'd stick with him for a minute. Like, hey, hang on. Let me talk to you. It's like he was the only person spitting anything that's true. Because I'd put that fire out, of course, because... He just said, shit's going to hunt you. <laughs> and hunt you, it did. He don't want to talk to you. <laughs> you're one of us, but you're not. This is nut cut. We're getting in some weird territory right now. <laughs> he just shut up between my nut cut. Like <laughs> now reattach it. Yeah, he doesn't make the decisions. He doesn't call the shots. I see how this is. Oh, no. He said, I want to shoot something. You better let that man shoot something, because... All that screaming does seem rather unnecessary. That short drop. Get him his gun. He said he want to shoot something. Give him the big pew pew. Let him have some fun. Why he choose to sit down? What did he see that he chose to sit down there? Oh, what? what? His creative process is interesting. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. Oh. Cram classic. That's a problem. Nothing That's like a problem. Nothing like some delicious cram.
it looks like a bear cave. Uh, not the word I'd use for it, but I mean. I mean, what else is going to be in there? Maybe a pack everybody, of wood? Everybody just keeps falling into the same areas by accident. <laughs> I don't like that this guy doesn't speak a lot. But when he does speak, there's going to be a problem. How's he supposed to aim that thing? He doesn't know like he can rely on aim it. Because they didn't make suits like this unless they needed suits like this. Something is a wrong. I'm get this is the way. <laughs> I guess. I mean. I told you. Uh, you won't until the... Oh. Toad is a bear. That thing was a bear. Oh. Oh no. He's out. All the big nopes right now. You pansy. Do something. Do anything. That's it? You don't sound so badass now. You not at all. Where were you? What do you mean? Also, this guy again? My God. Michael Rappaport. Yep. <laughs> He just keeps getting work. I'm happy for him in that regard. This dude feels definitely some kind of way about him. Uh, 
That's not the words I want to use right now while I'm needing the help. I mean, Sounds like you just retired, homie. Cause it was a forced retirement. I ain't helping you now. It's like the person he symbolizes and who this dude is, two different people entirely. There's no way he's saving this guy. Oh, this dude's like too far into the creed. No, we have a zealot. Not brave, brave for a zealot though. But again, we got keyboard warriors that believe they're impenetrable. So, what are you gonna do? If they find out. I found this unspeakably woke in the first few minutes. Tell me I'm wrong. I want to like this. There was nothing woke about it. It's just you have a female protagonist. Like, we had Samus Aran in the 90s. We had Tomb Raider in the 90s. You know, Laura Croft. It's like, we've had Alien in the 90s. We had, what else? Uh, we had all the Terminators. That chick, main hero in oh, the man. 90s. This is 2024. There's nothing woke about this. You have one individual who is trans. That changes nothing of the plot or the story or anything else, Mike. I think you got to give it another chance and come from it with a uh, fresh perspective, my friend. Fresh perspective. There's nothing that's been woke about this. They've talked about sex the most vulgar way possible. They talked about murder the most vulgar way possible. Talk about survival in the most vulgar way possible. Like, there's this dude who's in a diaper right now with basically his junk out. That's not very woke. Just, just going to put that out there. I think give it another try. Give it another 20 minutes or so. You need to give every show that you're going to watch at least two or three episodes to either Floria or Boreo. You put sand in a water filter. The commentary about the cowboy dude, well, just stay tuned. The cowboy dude gets way better by the end of episode one, just so we're clear about how the ghoul plays out. It's going to be very interesting. Just two or three episodes, that's all I'm asking from you. You can tell me I'm wrong, because I'm, I'm wrong all the time. But thus far, I'm blown away by what I've seen, Mike. Thus far, blown away, like it. And this gives me hope that maybe Elder Scrolls could be happening at some point. It has to be a TV series, though. It can't be a movie. There's too much stuff to cover. Mini series would be great, too. Where would they start with, with Elder Scrolls? Like, Skyrim is the most popular. You should probably start sooner, though. I know Skyrim is its most popular IP. Start sooner for the long-term fans who've been around for a long time that built that fan base up to what Skyrim became. Just personal opinion. But again, why is this guy wearing a diaper thong? It seems like it's the exact opposite of what works. In a water filter and only got more sand and was complaining about it. He's not on the same planet. Radiation poisoning of some variety? I mean, there's got to be something going on here. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. He's thanking him for not shooting him? If I'm sick, 
and I'm living in an abandoned lot and I'm dying, wouldn't you want to be put out? Or, oh, there was a changing of the guard. Mike, there's a twist about 25, 30 minutes into the episode. Just stick around to at least that moment. Then you can tell me I'm wrong. So I think from that twist forward, I haven't had a moment where I'm like, this is, I feel any kind of way about anything. So. Do you even know how to pilot this thing, homie? <laughs> I don't think there's like a training on this necessarily, but I mean, I'd be having a field day except for how hot it is. He's doing the exact same goofy stuff I would do. I'm just, I'm just saying. You give me Iron Man armor, I'll be doing some stuff. Oh, and if you're just joining, we're definitely planning on at least doing as many episodes as we possibly can. The more audience here, the longer we're going to keep on going with this. I'm going to try and finish the series tonight. That's that's my goal. Yeah, that's right. cool. I'm, I'm hooked. Oh. Well, he just did a thing. I mean, I, yeah, I guess something happened with Ox. Uh, seems to be a huge member of the community. Something went wrong. Seems to be. So uh, I don't know what was going on there. I don't know if he was like not allowed to live stream or something else. But uh, I know the community is uh, definitely speaking up for him. Ow. Ow. I mean, he could have not had clarification or the go ahead to live stream it because I know Twitch changed their rules all of like five days ago about live streaming Amazon content Cause before they were allowing to do it. I don't know if it was like on YouTube overall. Mm. That being said, I don't want anyone's content removed. That being said, rules and regulations still exist. So we're all privy to being stuck under it at some point in some manner. I would love to be showing it like directly on screen. <laughs> that guy was doing what now? Oh. I'm talking about the episode. <laughs> oh. The guy was. Screwing his chickens. Yeah, you don't want any bad press, Mike. I hear you. It, it's tough being in a social media climate where things can be, sometimes AI can be the one pulling it as opposed to an actual individual. I don't really know how YouTube does it. We're not that large of a channel to fall directly in the line of sight yet, but we're working our way up there. So I hope that um, Ox is able to do whatever he needs to do and his channel's unaffected by anything like that. Don't want anything bad. There's so much internet for everyone to go around. I think this chick's going to have to uh, toughen up along the way. Uh, for sure. Stop being so damn nice. That lady looks like she's wearing a crown. That guy's missing half his hair. That's a whole bunch of baskets. Best of luck to you, Mike. Hope you enjoy the series. Appreciate it. 
appreciate it, my friend. Appreciate it. But come back. Let us know in the comments what you think. Definitely got an interesting, um, interesting cast that's going. My goodness, these are some cool characters and cool props they're creating out here. I am sucked into what we got. This chick is just so ballsy. She's just diving head first. And there's so many situations where, like, I wouldn't just dare go. But the sets that they've created for this, super cool. The cotton, let's see how that works out for. <laughs> but again, I have to agree with what you were saying about losing that suit. You're eventually going to run into somebody who's not a huge fan of alters. Yeah, you out here in bright blue. <laughs> that guy was beating up that other guy. Now that guy's beat up. Is that a two headed cow? All right. You're going to see stuff, homie. Where are you at on the minute-wise? So I'm not spoiling. I just saw the two-headed cow. Okay. Like, I'm not far behind at all. The Easter eggs that they're throwing out through everything. Yeah. The vault, the vault boy. <laughs> I believe, is he called Pit Boy or is that just the arm pieces are called? Something like that. Uh, Pit Boy is the arm pieces. Uh. Her social skills could use some work. I mean, well, when you're just fucking your cousins. I mean. Yeah, things happen. Things happen, I guess. In this world, anyway. I don't know what Barb is. He didn't look mm. normal. Fingers is how we're designating what's nice now? Mm -hmm. I'll say fingers. Must be nice. She's spitting. It's probably got a minute now.
Rude awakening for you, huh? If things are going, uh, not so good for her right now. Not so good. This lady in blue coat and walked by like four times. <laughs> Just keep running in the main character. How does he know all that? <laughs> That's what I asked. There are probably projects for him. You know. Oh, uh, shit. Here we go. Things are kicking off. Everyone's like, no, thank you. I'm good. Oh, he's doomed. I want to know what, how he ended up in this position as the ghoul. Probably direct nuclear fallout. I mean, possibly. I mean, he was the cowboy at the beginning, so. Oh. Yep, things are getting drastic. Negotiations were short. Yeah, he's he's doing some work. I assume as a shop owner, you got plenty of money to throw around. They really only want to do business within town. Dang. Two for. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo! I don't know what kind of bullets he got, but they're working. What does he eat? Chicken. Yeah, I guess foot's still gone. Time to skedaddle. If 
get shot with blanks, how does that hurt? Sup, a fan? I definitely hear you. Episode one did not disappoint. We're on episode two at the moment. We'll try and keep some of the spoilers out of here, but uh, episode one after the 25, 30 minute mark did not disappoint. Grab your Nuka Cola, enjoy your brews, have a great time with it. Besides, with the way this is going, we may get some Elder Scrolls coming out. We're going to keep speaking into existence. All I know, though, this guy I want to have as my friend for any number of reasons. Oh, he pays afterwards. What a guy. You better not hurt that dog. You better not. I don't think that lasted all that long. Ah! Do the right thing. Yep, too tall. Nuka should do it. Pay a couple bottle caps for it and enjoy your journey outside the vault. Because things are a hectic. I think they've done the Fallout series justice as of where we're at in episode two right now. <laughs> really? Really? He's the primary aggressor. He is the whole aggressor. Miss, get your situation together. He says, nope. Oh, everyone's making friends. That was going to take longer for every story to intersect this way, though. I will say that much. Oh, yeah, tons of cool stuff there, fan. Tons of cool stuff. Love to hear it. Enjoy all your cool gear, because I need to get more uh, Bethesda-related stuff. All I have is a Skyrim dragon skull in the background, but you can't see that based upon my chair. That. I don't think I have much of anything. I got one. Mm -mm. It's my one little Skyrim thing. Oops. Things are going 
off. Our ragtag cast of heroes. You can't fight without your hat. Ooh, Skyrim from the 360. I was on the PS3 fan on the PS3. A DVD, I'm assuming Dead by Daylight. What was your favorite uh, Skyrim quest, fan? Just curious, asking from fan to fan. That was a Vegeta-style Widow's Peak. I just want to throw that out there. Fave uh, quest in Skyrim. If you can remember any that particularly stick out to you, fan. is paying for the transportation of all this. You know. Got your attention now. Like how all that ties together. Oh, yeah. I hear you, fan. I hear you. Wood Elves are definitely an interesting way to go. I always uh, seem to recruit a Fiandolf, Fiandolf, out in Riverwood. Have him uh, help me get my archery skills up, so my stealth archer does pretty dang well. Also, the fact that they're still battling is just ridiculous. Hmm. I'm into this fight, boy. I tell you what. He likes her. I mean, she's got all her teeth and all ten fingers. She's a commodity. So you could have just walked over there to him while he had to be fancy and fly. Hey, bada bada. Swing, bada.
Like so much is going on right now with just where we're at. Definitely interesting. That's a heck of a throw. I don't care who you are. Shoot. That was so CGI in there, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, it's the chicken screwer. She is fascinated by the Brotherhood at this moment. Wasn't that guy who was the one having sex with chickens? Mm-hmm. Mm. Ironic, he lands right by the, the crappers. Enjoy your night, fam. Thanks for checking out Geek Variants. Hey, first sip. That was just great. What you doing with the dog? Probably saving its life or doing something far more nefarious. The dog could lead him to it. Back to the guy. I mean, this dog is trained to find his master, so I mean, this would be the perfect tool for getting things done. Whole towel and resumes normalcy. Like nothing was happening. I will give her props for her adjustment so far. She seems to be doing a whole heck of a lot better now. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. Sometimes you know, gratuitous violence is going on here. Maybe that tracker in his neck is how the dog finds him.
definitely interesting to see how things are playing out that way. Like that's yeah, yeah, that's what he's asking. Go ahead, get to work. Before something else goes awry, yeah, I guess. Interesting. You ever feel like their vaults are being spied on? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I know who you are, Dick. <laughs> Alright, while well, the commercials play, I'm gonna take a quick quick recruit. Yeah. Right to the next one. All right. So this whole thing been wild since the jump. So we know that freaking the ghoul is the is Cooper from the beginning. They were giving him a hard time. He ended up riding off on a horse. Guess he had a kind of an extradition plan for getting out of there in case some crap went south. He was a Marine. And now he's the ghoul running around doing whatever he's doing as the ghoul.
Studio Fire Bob. Wow. Things are confusing. What is confusing? It's everything that this guy's probably had to go through in the last, what, 219 years? Yeah, pretty much. Is this the girl hands up saving? What part are you on? Four minutes, 52 seconds. Uh, yeah, I think so. Where are you at? 455 now. Okay. That's going to be his wife and daughter, probably. Yeah. Because people were saying something about a divorce when they're talking crap about him, but now all of a sudden he's all good to go. So they say Bob left because Bob was a communist or whatever. So you harken back to the earlier when they called him a pinko or whatever, which has to do with the communism stuff. So it looks like he ends up getting put in that same kind of category. Yeah. It seems like he's taking at least really good care of the dog. I'm still wondering like, if he even eats anything. Well, yeah, he, he ate them cherry tomatoes. I mean, yeah. I don't know if he was just doing that for show, though. Or... Yeah. I will say, as of now, though, the ghoul is definitely the most interesting character we got. Yeah. I guess we could call him a talking head at this point. Pretty much. We got like God of War. <laughs> got Mimir. No, I should have put it in the bag or something. Would be a heck of a lot easier. Just find a way to like tie something around his hair and then from there clip it to your bag. Yeah, because he put that thing behind his ear, freaking right. So that's the important piece is needed. It's like, do we need to hit the head clean? And like, why is this person particularly interested in just the, just the head? Ah, got back for it. Deviled eggs. That's gonna rot.
she is not bothered at all by the whole corpse thing. No, not at all. But considering what her wedding day turned out like, I mean, not much of an option. Did that sound like she was missing him? The night? Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a knee jerk reaction there. What if Dane's feeling better and becomes a squire? Hmm. Somehow got the foot back. I assume a mechanic would be highly in demand in this type of climate. Absolutely. Speak of the devil. Street smarts too, good for him. Oh, no. Super interesting. She just freaking jip ju. Things have definitely gone on. Um, Kitty Wampus. Yeah. So their kind has a, a reputation. It's not well received by the community.
What you gonna do, homie? You feel like something this technologically advanced should have some kind of sensor to realize whose DNA is trying to go inside of it so it can kind of reject those that are unworthy of it? I thought he had like a safety on him when he like closed it. There you go. That's a good idea. <laughs> Taking out the crap. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Got lit. Mm -hmm. This guy's day has been going from bad to worse. That was lovely. Perfect time to be eating fruit snacks. He just abandons the armor again after he just. So like, why do you leave? Like, get back in the armor. Oh, this guy, really? Done what you should have done, like the minute you saw everything going. This way. Should have done that the first time. You could have seen who he was in your armor. Like Did he even have time to put in the repair? This is going to go right to his head. Yo, like... <laughs> His ego is out of control. My gosh. It's just military hazing. Just keep cleaning my dick, basically. That's military hazing. My robo junk. Thaddeus is going to die later. Then he's going to get Dane as a squire. Or Dane is going to become a freaking knight. And they're going to have to face off against each other. By That's accident. When not know it. It's either that or Thaddeus is going to try and jack his ride. Like, things are going to be interesting. Well, he can't come out of it freaking without getting caught. Oh, 
Hollywood. You look beautiful. Nothing's changed. Looks the same as it is now. Little, little Bambi. Probably mutant Bambi. I don't trust nothing to survive in this climate. Nah, I'd punt that thing. You ever seen them vampire deer? Oh, yeah. No thanks. Yeah. Out. All the way out on it. It's trying to eat you. It's not interested in the grass. Uh, excuse me? Where's Mama? Or worse. Well, Bambi. A tragic ending. That was a waste of shot. Big on top of that bus. The heck is that? Um, looks like some kind of Walk. salamander thing. Took the head. Uh, I knew we put tracker on it for some reason, but interesting to see how it's being used now. Hello again. Pleasure to make your uh, acquaintance. Why, hello there. General Kenobi. No, you can go get it for me. And I can steal it right back. Probably the only one that can. Probably the only one that can. You just wasted deviled eggs, man. Come on. Not pulling you. The heck is a gopher? Whatever got her thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the brother. I was not even going to come back here. Like, what, the whole identity? like for being like one of the largest people in this area, I think you'd be more useful. I wonder what he's gonna amount to, if anything. Norm, you better get gangster.
Mm. As far as you know. This council is useless. They really are. Take charge by force. <laughs> All right. Promotion? Demotion? You better kick him out. Where was all these security guards when everything went? I know, hey, right? Everybody on break? Are these the raiders that survived? Okay. Yep, it's the raiders that survived. If food is so scarce, why are we saving these people? Gosh, he just crap himself. Yeah, this is what happens when the haze suddenly gets power too quickly without learning any life lessons along the way. I feel like he should have learned a couple more things before this happens. This is making me... If I get to get this armor when I play the game, it's making me want to go back and play it. guy is a straight up butt licker. You know? Shut up. <laughs> That's definitely him. You have no idea.
Like, there's clear footprints. Why are you overthinking that? This dude feels like a glorified golf caddy at this point. How much you want to bet they're going to run into that water monster? Yeah. And they're going to have to be the ones that kind of have to handle that situation. Oh. Okay. I ain't trying to breathe it. No. Torch is just frowned upon, depending on your position. Okay, no. The dog was like, yo, let me get that. Does she realize that by screaming, she's only going to attract worse things? Yeah, it's pretty much the uh, how this works. That is all of the nope. Every single... One of them. Those fingers? It's something. This dude's got a weird kick for pain. You was laying down there all the long time.
<laughs> Freaking vault dwellers. Hmm. He's sick of their crap already. We've just traded pets. That's what happens when hazing gets way too far out of hand. So far, though, I gotta say, this show is very, very interesting. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think it is interesting. You know, for me, not knowing much about the Fall of the Universe, like being able to see just them put everything together and i could actually enjoy the show for what it is is fascinating in itself character growth. Yeah. How much do you think that armor is real versus how much of it is like practical CGI? I've seen some pretty good stilt costumes and stuff. Um... I think a good bit of it is freaking actual armor, but it's, you know, it's like, you know, the cardboard cosplay type stuff, whatever, so it's easier to lift. But he's not that much taller, so it looks like he's just kind of walking on maybe, you know, foot tall stilts. But I don't think it's him in the suit. I think somebody else is really operating it that has experience with that. Oh, you guys are so lame. They're going to, like, have him be killed. And this guy's just slowly seizing more and more power.
Yo, he need to die. I don't want to learn calculus now. We're in a civilized society. I want to teach them how to get shot, maybe. But, like, damn. Yes. Don't let them go. Put them out to pasture. I wonder if they planted him to do this. Just to test how everyone else feels about it. You gotta lock him up. Yep, prisoner's gotta go. Change the whole swing of things immediately. He tried to tell you, dumbasses. He just got himself a girlfriend or a wife. She's a little psychotic, but like. I can use her. <laughs> I can fix her is what he's screaming internally. But he doesn't really want to. What the? It's a big bug. Yeah. Time to do the right thing. Yeah, it's a huge bug. Time for fishy. You called it. <laughs> Sometimes, when you're good, good. It would help if you didn't miss. Nice shot. Perfect time to hold your gun up and shoot. It looks like he's shoving him in as opposed to like pulling him out. Oh. What just happened? 
cause him to throw up. And that thing, it just killed him. Yeah, so what it looked I'm like... Vomiting. What it looked like this freaking... Because they're, they're grippers, he pretty much pulled his stomach from the inside out unintentionally. The head's going to be there. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, someone's going to need to clean that up. He's cleaning it. <laughs> the most unlikely alliance. <laughs> You gotta keep cool there, Maximus. Don't be uh celebrating and getting all out your out your zone. Looks like he at least took the rope off her neck. Uh, she, <laughs> she her boot. Rad meter peaking. Okay, what's around? Something else she can use to her advantage to possibly escape. Maybe. I think we're gonna get more of his backstory here in a sec. Say again? We're going to get more of his backstory probably coming up here in a second. Yeah. They're probably going to show us more like spoon feed us the next couple episodes. Yeah. They're going to get a hold of his backstory up until he became whatever this is. So, yeah. Hmm. Probably get it by episode six. He's got some kind of feelings about that guy. <laughs> It probably used to be him. He was wearing that cowboy outfit. He could have been the poster boy for all this. Couple humor is weird.
Oh boy. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> there it is. All right, episode four. take a, a break after this to refill my water and stuff. I think that boy is going to try and find a way to off the Raiders and slowly take control of this society. Yeah, that would make sense. Because they're fighting over control, and he sees that. So he's going to probably use that to his advantage. I do like the fact they've incorporated a lot of the music that was in the game, or at least mm -hmm. that style into this. Yeah. Uh, he knows him. More ghouls or people? Uh, he's dealing with something. So they use that to keep themselves in check, it looks like. And that's why he was mad when his bag got crushed, because all his vials got crushed. Mm. So now he's got to find some more. I was say, he gave up on the search for the head really quickly. He definitely moved right on along like nothing happened. He's just hanging out by himself. Dang. Yeah, he's out of medicine. That's what happens to him. Yep. As I said, Ghoul's going to be in the same position if you don't get some vials. Fighting with all of his natural impulses for any number of reasons. That's why he had a whole bag of that stuff being fed into him through an IV drip. 
which it does make sense why he didn't take that bag with him because that's just a whole bunch of that medicine he needs. Because hmm. like, he seems like an actually agreeable individual, just, you know, ghoul. Blanco mac and cheese. Because 219 years, that's absurd. Maybe he's Cooper McClain. Hmm. Uh, set him out with all these good memories. So, I mean, there's something there. Something to that. I take it you're ahead of me. Coronavirus. I mean, what is he? Oh. What is he doing? He's eating. The guy took a bunch of vials to kind of get himself together, and it's probably not working for him. So it looks like he's eating the, the tissue and stuff like that to get some of that to prolong him from having to get more stuff. My mm. stuff. Okay. Yep, I am seeing things I was not prepared for. All right. This man said ass jerky. Don't make it so. <sighs> How do you live like this? One day at a time. Always. Just calling her a freak is not really, well, calling him a freak is not the best motto. Because, like, he can just eat you all the same. Yeah. Did you just tell her to carve off that dude's butt? Yeah. yeah. All righty then. As I'm as some, some booty. That. Eating them bootios. <laughs> that's where I'm going to leave all the jokes. I got like eight or nine more. Each one less PG than the last. My goodness. What a time to be alive. They got two months left to live and they're still campaigning. Yeah. What's your, what are you what are you what are you up to, lady? Yeah. 
Could you agree with me? Mm. About what? No, I may be a little bit ahead of you. You are. What's your time stamp? Uh, nine twenty-two. Oh, I'm a minute ahead. Is he trying to eat himself? Son. It looks like he was genuinely trying to eat himself. But again, two months left with water. Time to start doing some drastic things. But we have pie. This guy's gonna be like part of the problem moving forward. And she's also trying to use him for that swing boat. Mm -hmm. Coughing and stuff. Oh, he got some ass jerky to go. Yes. Yeah, you are ahead of me. Try to slow down a bit. What's your time stamp now? 1117. 11 22, 23, 24. This is talking about pie. I'm at 11 48. But, um, yeah, I just got to figure out what, what the vials are for and what he's doing with it. Like, oh, she's tempted to drink that because she, uh... A little dehydrated at this point. Yeah, he's radiated, so it don't affect him none. He can drink whatever, right? Yeah, to some extent. It's like, do you really want to be him, though? Or dead? That's your option. Oh, and there it is. Because, like, I'm fairly certain that that's just regular boat water that she's drinking. Can you imagine not trying to fake dehydration and then spitting out water that you actually need? All right. But eat a PCO ass jerky. And now she's realizing her predicament. Where are you going to go? Oh, didn't get very far.
Should just chill out for a minute. Wait for a better opening. <laughs> now you short. Things are going to take a turn for the weird. Hey, easy way to put it. They figure it out. Yeah. Such a weird little community. I feel like uh, moving around to people would be uh, easy. No. Is she pregnant? Yeah, she's been pregnant. He's not really picking up on the hint, though, very easily. No, he's not. Because she's here for one thing and one thing only. And what could that be? Brown chicken, brown cow. He's big and strong. She can she can manipulate him, probably, to Make him into the uh, killing machine that she needs. Yeah, because look how small the shoes are. Yeah, she's not really uh, making it subtle, but, you know, sometimes you need all the hints you can get. That she, doesn't fit at all. She's going she to manipulate the crap out of him. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is weird. Oh, yep, it's extra weird now. Yeah, well, get it where you can, I guess. Not judging all that much. <laughs> what was I thinking? You're thinking the only sane thing possible. Oh. No, she's <laughs> going into labor. Well, I mean, there is a thing that it's cool. Yeah. Pregnancy along the. Uh, so. Usually it's like, you know, a medicine ball or not me. No, actual intercourse can help pregnancy. I know. I'm just not that guy. Usually. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at that point, it's like, what, you haven't had sex in like four or five months. Your wife is glowing. You're like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Because your doctor turns into a walking block. <laughs> For the right reasons, but still. Yeah, if you left a finger on, you probably could have got more. Do uh, you recognize him from... Uh, what's it called? It was that a night show that the Futurama creator made that's the voice of the pig the super uh, eloquent one he's got his own like other series he's he's from disenchanted uh don't i know what that is i just haven't what well, i don't know 
Because that voice is only one actor does that style of delivery. Only one. Eat some butt jerky. He's fading. Faded. Matt Berry. Yes, the one and only Matt Berry. And his name is Snip Snip. <laughs> I don't trust niceties in this wilderness. Nope. He's going to harvest my organs. Or something worse. The Great War? The nuclear war, I'm assuming. I mean, my finger is purple, ish, gray. I mean, Lots of gray. He, he could have gave her back her finger, and she could have got something back on. Because there's no way he has this assortment of items. If he's not doing some shady stuff. Yeah. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. I called that. Man. I'm on fire. Oh. And she's sleeping. What a time, what a time, what a time. He's actually happy about his job now, so something is in fact up. It's poisoned. I beg don't eat it. Hmm. Oh. Also, is it just me or was she um a little caked up? Nobody's innocent. He knows computers, so what's he gonna do with that?
So now he's going to be curious. He's going to go to the next vault. Find out that something went awry. Mm -hmm. But what went awry, we'll find out. Access to die. I'm going to say Norm is definitely carrying on things pretty interestingly. Oh, so they never closed it, it's just left open. <laughs> Every man when birth's happening. I want out, <laughs> but you're there holding the hand while they're slowly breaking yours. Thanks. Norm is figuring out things faster than they should have. I don't think so. I mean, I think stuff was pretty obviously that something was up. He was just following the breadcrumbs. But the evolution of his psychology is so rapid at this point. That's But he was that's never on board with their stuff, though. He was uh, never on board. That's the only thing, reason why I think that's why he's coming to it so fast. He's coming to all the right answers because he didn't buy into the uh Yeah, he never bought into the idea. Does that make any sense? Why wouldn't you go over to Vault 32 and siphon what you can from their resources to fix Vault 33? Fear, general fear mongering, and whoever is really running the council is keeping things in order. Because, I mean, those doctors have to know far more than what's going on with everybody else for them to want that dude's head, whatever he shot himself or chipped himself with that badly. Because Norm is just breadcrumbing this right now. I think the doctors can see what's going on in the vaults. And, oh, so people are slowly figuring out what is actually going on with everything. I mean, for only being four episodes in, I am intrigued. Very. Is it like if the games were this fascinating and I missed it, man, am I an idiot. Ten hours in was not as sold as I am on with this show. You put a fork in a toaster? That's one way to go. Yeah. Out is still out, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, because rats will figure out quicker than humans is like, oh, battery resources, there's no food, boom, turn on each other. And they're not liking the answers they found thus far. Couldn't you go into their uh, pit boys and kind of like, we know the truth? Kind of like ascertain what happened. Well, they said they got bio signals from two years ago, so they really got to do some research and figure out what happened. But I think Norm's realizing everyone's been lied to, and something definitely, yeah, got a muck, and that McLean's dad. 
knew of all this going on, covered it all the way up, and then probably made a miscalculation with everything involving the Raiders. So now, you know, he's God knows where. Because there were tons of bodies in that fridge in the background, just so we're all... They're all cool. Aware. Okay, that's a ghoul, a person, ghoul, ghoul, that's another one. Is that the dude from, uh, uh, Free Guy? Um, yes, it is. Is that also the dude from, uh, Benchwarmers? I don't remember Benchwarmers like that. But it's not that good of a film. Of, the type of movie that Bench Warmers is, that probably is him. Yeah. How are these two in charge? That dude is named Squirrel, and the other one's named is Huey. He is the world's like most interesting doctor. <laughs> yeah. And in the sense of I don't want to go. Uh, I don't have insurance. So, like whatever excuse you can use to get out of it. I'm in. That will hurt a whole lot of a bit. Oh, thank goodness. I still don't trust that he's down for the count, though. They're still eating top ramen, though, so they can't be living that bad. are they doing with all the ghoul bodies? Is that the chicken guy? I don't know. I'm still looking around. Oh, that's nice of him. What a guy. Hopefully they don't try and eat me later. and dark show you're stupid letting out the worst ones oh boy Made a horrible miscalculation. 
there's still one more. That lady was still locked up too. Well, you made friends, you lost friends. There's going to be a jump scare. Things are only going to continue to get worse from here. She's on our last bit of sanity. This is going to be really sad, but she's going to still try and eat you. I would have grabbed a gun by now. Everyone else is dead. Yeah, there you go. Martha's got to go. I'm just saying. I mean, come on. Like, nope. <laughs> just pew pew. You got to use common sense here. There we go. At this point, she wasn't really living anyway. She was just surviving, which is not the same. Where is that big secret we're all looking for here? There's got to be a big one. <laughs> Safe to say they went bananas. Bananas, huh? That's that's what we're calling it. Death to management. Dang. Open from the outside? Dang. There it is. I called it. But now you have to stop Big Boy from selling out your family secret. Looks like you're mine now. She owns him outright. Like, I don't know what else you'd call it at this point. And once he gets up, he can go back inside and find a endless supply because they had 60 vials apparently ready to trade them. Mm -hmm. I feel like he respects her a whole heck of a lot more now, but I'd be like, hey, you could have at least fed me it. <laughs> Thank you. 
not a peep out of the Brotherhood in this episode. Boy, I'm talking about a junkie. He got his fix and he's living in paradise. Just take the box. Might as well. You gotta be greedy, be gre be greedy. Wonder who made the formula for this. The doctor, probably. I was going to say, it has to be a doctor who was turning and was like found a way to keep himself alive. The man from Dead Horse, that's probably his movie. Probably. Now he's going to have to go back down memory lane and try and figure out what the heck has been going on. Now it's going to be for us to figure out. And I was like, don't step on your vials that are so precious to you. He didn't agree with that. The cowboy rides again. On to the next one. I'm going to get through the recap real quick. I'm stuck in commercials. There's nowhere I can go. All right. I'm going to get some more water real quick.
I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm at a minute 19. Minute 55, so pausing it. Tell me when you're at minute 55. We'll be back in sync. All right, I'm caught up. All right, and playing. Are they drunk or are they just being stupid? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. gonna figure out the guy because he just branded him with the letter T. Don't tell him. Don't do it. It's like, what happened to the other guy? Well, about that. He died. Well, I'm about to lose my choir. Well, things went wrong. You're not going to survive on your own out there by yourself without the suit. And the dog left too, damn. The dog's just gonna follow the head. I hope they treated the dog nicely. Between the dehydration and the heat, it's it's a ter Oh boy! Never mind, he's got big problems. Oh man! Mm -mm. Nope.
How much you want to bet it's a ghoul? There we go. <laughs> and this is the smallest universe ever. Everyone just runs into everybody. Also, she's a pretty good raider. Gonna give her that. But he could say. Somebody else killed him. That's one way to put it. <laughs> Is she turning? Believe the lies. Vault 32. All the secrets. All the secrets. What else did they find in there? Everybody's gonna be wearing these suits at freaking MomoCon and Dragon Con. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna be coming out in numbers because it it doesn't look like it's something that's hard to fabricate or even just make. But now you're gonna see the um, the more risque versions of it. It's gonna be crop top and booty shorts of the Vault Tex. What's in there? Probably food. And someone's had to have noticed they've been gone for a while now. I know, right? Gonna turn around more casually. Having sex. <laughs> uh, 
I would say something so uncomfortable just so they leave me alone. She knows what they're up to. I think she wants them to find out. Because I think she wants to know. Or she was involved in the last go-round of things. Like, you're the last decent person I know. It's not really his position to bargain, but, you know. Yeah. You get that now. <laughs> They're gonna be hooking up at some point. There, there's too much going on. The things are gonna get complicated because the mission falls apart. But two more episodes probably from now. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. Nope, oh, get the get the music. The move. The music of triumph, even though you've done nothing of triumph. So if you had to pick a faction to be in, which one? You actually, when I signed into Amazon, it gave me the option to pick a faction. <sighs> Knowing me? You're going Brotherhood, aren't you? Yeah, you already know. I need a suit. <laughs> yeah, suit me up. I ain't going to do this vault life. Stepping in line, following orders, blindly. No, thanks calculus like come on the world's in a complete waste and i know in high school like yeah i'm never going to use it but even in today's world yeah never use it in this world i'm definitely not needing it no betty's already been overseer once maybe she wants that power back I mean, Betty is pushing all the pieces directly to where she's needing them to be. So she's doing a fantastic job. And now he's questioning whether or not he should be leader or not. Mm -hmm. Yep, he voted for Betty. He couldn't even vote for himself. Like, dang. 
It's like having your own YouTube channel but not being subscribed to yourself. It's like, do you even believe in you? In fact, I think YouTube also makes it almost mandatory you're subscribed to yourself. <laughs> I think everybody's got at least one, as long as you have a video out there. Like, no, that's what actually happened. So it hasn't been 200 something years. Everybody out here lying. She knows what's in it. And she hid this information, just carried on the conversation anyway. Also, she, like, all but a week ago was, like, all she wanted to be was a stay-at-home wife, quote-unquote, and just make babies. Yeah. Things turned out to be a raider, so, uh, you know. I'm still tripping oh. on this thing. He's like, the bombs fell when I was a kid. And he's, like, what, 20s? It's, like, 20 years ago. Yeah. So it's not 2077. It's probably, like, 2099 right now. And they've been yeah. told... That it's been 200 years or whatever the case may be. But again, they, they look like second and third generation. So that part is definitely interesting to have to cover. Because even the old people are like completely down with it. I run out old boys going over all the information and there's a lot of stuff in it. Dang, Betty won big time. He's like, there is no next time. We're going to die in two months. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Is that poison? Is that the poison cake? Uh, or it's not poisoned and he knows the secret he wants to brag about it she knows something is up with him he is not selling it mm-hmm Oh, it's so devious. I love it. Like, oh, what is happening? I love Amazon's writing team. Hello? I agree. I agree. I'm like, really. I'm like, what is this? What is this? Ghouls. Something's some definitely up right there going on. Everybody's lying.
I'm with that guy. I am definitely with that guy. He gets it. Give me the gun. <laughs> Yeah. Her you, don't, is still... you don't survive this long in the wilderness without, you know, being a little dangerous. Being a little tough with everybody. She still ain't learned enough. Like... Watch the eyes. Watch the eyes. Watch the hands. Now, nope. things about to go wrong. She wants that pit boy. Hell of a shot. Yeah, but he lost out on the weapon if it didn't fall on the ground. She really needs to let go of that innocence. He's like, I've, I've been beaten up worse than this. <laughs> That's a fair assessment of the situation. Yeah. Good, you got a gun. Sweet. Dude's dying with his dreams. Oh, wow, ten hall posters. didn't vote for Betty. I mean, what some stuff? What's with Vault 31? I need to know. Why is this guy raising the chicks, baby? Because he's stupid. My goodness, he's tall or he'd be completely useless.
Joe Cake keeps them freaking uh, probably in that frame of mind. Really? Hmm. Everyone's going down this creepy road. And of course, the tall guy is going to continue to get horribly influenced because, you know, thinks with the wrong head. Yo. Check chat. That other was my wife. She wants me to come to pay like You don't have to read it out loud. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can run through it. Like the rest of it? Yeah. You're hooked, aren't you? Yes. Because this is a great show. I'm just running out of gas. Nah, you good. I I keep trucking through, and then uh, when you uh, hop up tomorrow, I mean, if you got time, we can do the review, or I can just do I can do a quick synopsis, and we can try to do a more detailed one later. Yeah, quick synopsis one will probably be best. I'll finish off this episode at the very least, so I can have a clean start for three more episodes. Bet. Yeah, you can't tell I'm like engrossed in this thing. Like this is. I want to know what's going on with that vault. That's what's that's what's eating at me. Vault thirty one. Yeah. Now, okay, the the first overseer is 31, freaking she's from 31. Like, whatever's been going on in 31 has been... Rose, so that's where... the mom, freaking, she had the pit boy, so it's like, I gotta figure out how that stuff is connected. That's where the nuke fell. <laughs> yeah, which means it should be highly irradiated in that area. Oh, yeah. But this is where the ghouls from the cowboy. Because he was just on the outskirts of Shady Sands. Mm -hmm. Humans. Humans happened. Yeah, that's this question. Why did the bombs drop? I mean, he said the bomb truck when he was a kid, so yeah. He did the whole refrigerator thing, the Indiana Jones did. Because they were lead lined. He's inf getting infected on that wound, needs to be cauterized. Or at least have some kind of medicine on it.
Yeah. But he needs some medicine to get him back on his feet. Which means they probably have to fight for it because medicine is like a valuable resource commodity here. I mean, it always is, but because it's in ready supply, it's not drastic. As we're in this society, it's of the highest need. I mean, even freaking in our society, just to get a maybe like a hundred and fifty dollars for some asthma medications, like you know, really? <laughs> she is just ready to go on every and all account. Wonder what cliffhanger they're gonna leave me on so they can try and torture me. <laughs> turn this turn this fan on. Wonder what is keeping on the power. But again, like if there's no power company, there's no one to just go boop and turn it off. Yeah, but I mean regular maintenance has gotta be happening to Keep it together, something. Just think about it. If it's been freaking twenty years, corroded parts, freaking weather, whatever. Like, I don't even know if it can rain. <laughs> yeah. They probably did mess up the atmosphere to some insane degree. That would be one of the cliffhangers. Yeah. Well, she got a blue eye patch and everything. It's just they got a match. You gotta have at least a little bit of drip. Of course. Because they want everybody to die, <laughs> or at least people that don't believe in their mission. But also the amount of work that they... What? Yeah, so they got it. When did this Six all... In a day? Yeah, like... How many people are there? Like, when did this get... Clean? Who does she... She's working with Moldova or whatever. They probably had them come in and clean up the bodies and stuff. I was going to say, that dude jammed a fork into that toaster. Mm. There's blood spray everywhere. Him and Chet are having a nightmare. Miss the spot. And destroyed all the information. Yep. The minute information is the problem, you know it's already too late. Now they got to break in a 31. Yep. Ominous. Nothing important. Except 
Yikes. Yeah, that's not our experience. Just our whole society and our rules and our way of life. But hey, whatever. Everything's fine. It's fine. 31 is probably the control. Like the control group. So 31 dictates everything that happens between 32 and 33. Hmm. Uh, so mom could have asked questions or brought information from the outside world. So put a baby in her, well, two, and then ax her after she started asking questions. And that's why we keep getting this intrigue around her character. Yes. She probably was asking the same questions that uh, he was. But it looks like a vault. Why are they in a vault? Oh, no. They're not strapped down. And there's no way he accidentally fell onto that. <laughs> Caution falling objects. Them. Yep, they have your weapons. You're going to be rehabilitated back into vault society. But it makes well, you wonder how the raiders <laughs> did everything differently. You're also, vault. his costume reminds me of Ant-Man's. Like with all that red? That's where I was. I was like, I know I see this. And she's going to trust all this, and he's going to be like, yo, this is crap. It's not a single truth in this. Oh, no. Maybe she's like, hey, can you pump a baby in me now? My God. Yeah. Well, you it is all you, man. All you should you. not be in that vault. Good luck with your quest for answers. I got a couple more episodes of Power Through tomorrow, and then uh, we will reconvene for a more in-depth one. But by all means, if you feel compelled to do a solo recap, I believe in you. I will be signing off. Uh, we'll be continuing the stream with the Geek Variants. Yeah, I'm going to continue as far as I can, but uh, yeah, if I don't get to doing the recap right after tonight, then we'll do it whenever you uh, get done. Absolutely. Sounds like a plan, because this is... Uh, I'll be sure to tell Tony to watch this, because this is... Yes. This is, uh, but five hours in, Geek Variants, we did it for you. And so far, this has been incredible. I'm going to head on out. Have a good night, everybody. Later, bro. I got to know what happens. I got to figure this out. Because this is going to bug me. So now we're getting... Uh, getting Cooper. Giving his insight. And the bolts. He doesn't look too happy to be there.
<laughs> selling the selling it all for the refuel. Two and three, twenty-five bolt. The Howard Cooper Howard is his full name. It's T forty five. This dude's really trying to sell one of these uh these suits, um, better suits. Care what you being at work, you trying to kiss me, you girl. Yes, back part. So I'm trying to figure out how we end up getting to the point where he's working as a freaking cowboy and doing kids' birthday parties. Like, what's the deal? It's just chilling. It's a good pooch. Cooper Howard starring in A Man and His Dog. What is going to happen with this? Like... What other kind of mutated animals are we going to see? I don't see some of these crazy, crazy things coming up. He's just trying to get some free action.
He's wearing a Pit Boy already. I'm glad that they got him a uh, an actual role with his face, Matt Berry, because he was the snip snip robot. So him actually having a role was great. What is this? So the government is still running the show in some some aspect or another. Because he just came in and freaking whacked them. Oh, Vault 4. I wonder where these vaults are, like how far apart they spread. Because you got 200 neighbors, so they're about 200 people per vault. So they're in vault four. That's where they fell into. So, now that she's finding out more, that the vaults have been kind of doing their thing.
<laughs> he doesn't know about sex. This may change my view on choosing the Brotherhood of Steel. She's just a horny little thing. Well, you better get to work. Hey, one eyed overseer. That's uh This dude's got a nose on his forehead. Why do these people have these caps in their head? Like what are they hiding in their head? <laughs> So these people vote for is a bunch of, uh, for lack of a term, better term, mutated people. Well, so since he's a spokesperson for the vault, maybe he has a vault. So the affinity for chickens comes from.
So she's getting to the bolt second. He's against it. Because he's having second thoughts. So. There he goes. Guaranteed spot in the vaults. Guaranteed spot in one of the good vaults. What do you mean good vaults? What do you mean good vaults, though? Now, I, when somebody just says, trust me, please, they're like, hang on. I like to know the science behind the trust. Like, look, okay, that's why I trust me. Like, you know, trust me, this is why. This is what I know. This is what I, this is the reason why I'm doing this. So trust me on this. I'm not perfect with everything, but dang, it just feels like something's really off when she says that. Text the devil. Okay. Well, text it. Might as well. Text That the, doesn't work out. Yeah. Vault Tech is going to be the one that drops the freaking bombs. Right? They're the ones that start the war. Man. It is right, so it's just not fire. So is it good or just me? That's the question there. Shit. I need a drink too. She got something to say. What's going on? It says who? Driving the dogs in the walls.
his wife's going to go in the vault. He's not going to take his daughter. That's going to be a problem. You don't understand. She don't having to wait at home. She don't know. She don't need to be told how bad war is. It's like, have you lived it? Have you actually went to combat? No. So why? Like she's on some crap. Nah, I ain't. I ain't with her. She finna be the downfall. Twenty years. Is she Betty? Just older? Don't know. Thinking maybe maybe she's just changed her name to. I'm going that. I'm going that's Betty. You have one eye, you dummy. You can't see. When did the bombs actually take place? Cyril Figgis, Chris Parnell.
was over. Man, oh, I want to fight some of these people so bad. You're in a vault. You're controlled. You're freaking probably not going to get what you want. They, they do whatever they can to manipulate and control you. If you're a knight, freaking you're indoctrinated in, you know, nothing of sex and anything like that, or you're living on the surface world, just doing whatever, but it's dog eat dog, so. He's got generators in here, chilling. So he's gonna make him a makeshift power cord. It can't be taken out, maybe. Come with some kind of new blue power cord. Because old boy is getting further and further away. Oh, there's a fusion core right there. trying to say like you yeah, trust I don't trust nobody but you trying to why are you trying to separate me from my homie Football, man, you gotta get some space. What you cheesing at? Yo, this will drive me freaking nuts. Caviar, yum yum brand double eggs. She about to lock him in there. He can't get out. Well, he may be adjusting to the ball way of life because he said he can't go back, freaking without getting killed, unless he brings back the trophy, so to speak, and can. Justify why everything kind of happened.
she's a teacher, so she's right at home where she's used to be in. Remembering she's seen his library, everything. I mean, what did they know of history? How far long ago did this happen for them? Like, what are they being told or fed? Here you go. Shady Sands has found it, 2142. She's getting the timeline. New California Republic graded 2189. These are 2077 is when the bonds are out. 2198 is when became the capital. NCR becomes the largest economic political power of California, 2241. The fall of Shady Sands, 2277. Not 27, but 2277. It's when the bonds are She's coming to realization because they were already told earlier when she talked to him, like, hey, the bomb went off. But she's just now putting it together. Dweller tradition. What about to do? Have a freaking orgy? They're about to coop. The ghoul. The government. Not government. The gover. <laughs> Mint, as in the little thing you find on your pillow. Mm -hmm. Is that Sagat this morning? What is that? Is it pictures? Your old friend, so would you take these bindings off me so I can choke you out proper? His wife. You gonna die. You gonna die good. Just waiting for it. Lame mother. Flame mother.
Hannaford and Streets. Hamilton from that fall too far from the tree. Oh, your yeah, daddy did then. <laughs> Very presidential, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Shot him in the dick. That's not more there. That's his daughter. That's his daughter. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Spitballing here. Bear with me. But it's not here, remember that? He's been doing this for 200 years. So that could be like his great great granddaughter or something. I don't know. Maybe something like a fan. I don't know. Betty could be his daughter, and Mole David could be her daughter. If she said, think this ain't some coach. This is some cult stuff. You just naively going and doing whatever everybody else is doing without thinking for yourself or watching to see what's happening. You just participate. Like, cool. She bought a box of rocks, man. I'm telling you. She just, I'm enjoying this. This is great. This, uh. And here it is. They just got chests out. So they, everybody just topless. Okay, what's what's Birdie doing? She's 
She's lighting the big fire. Flame Mother, you remember. They're praying to the Flame Mother, and we know who Flame Mother is now. I mean, it's starting to be revealed to us, but now she's getting a realization. This is getting wild with this flame mother stuff. Like, what is the deal? What is on level 12? That door didn't. The door was wide open, so she was pulled in there. The suspense is killing me. So when they got what's going on with thirty one, and what's going on with Vault Four. Why was there one of those frog looking things floating in there? Was those faces and bottles and jars and 
eyeballs, faces, and there's like other various body parts. Woman giving birth, looks like. Looks like. There's a water birthing chair. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. She gave birth to those fish things and they started to eat her yo no mm, you better bring that tape with you you gotta show that to somebody So there's a body in stasis, a pregnant body in stasis, a naked pregnant body in stasis. Cryopod, several cryopods that looked all to be pregnant, naked women. I just seen somebody walk in the back. Ooh. That's a second nose, dude. You worry. Are you worried? You ain't got no better security. You worried about them getting out? You ain't got the special control unit. Because he finna spear gun somebody. Take it all out. Come on. There's Birdie. And you'll put down there watching TV. Man, all right, so we found out the secrets of Vault Freaking Four. Two more episodes to go. Hey, the other Fallout soldiers. It was like Fallout New Vegas or something like that, I think. 
I can't remember exactly because I don't play games like that, but uh, those may have been freaking like earlier suits. Lead farmer. I'm a lead farmer, mother. <laughs> Rap Dungeon, Tropic Thunder. You need to go watch it if you haven't watched it. I love that movie. Elders was what is name your elders? What you gonna do, Tommy? Tommy wasn't none too bright.
Miss Williams. Okay. All right, so Miss Williams, it's Moldaver. Of having a tweet. Ooh, ooh, bringing up the wife into this. All right, so let's see what the, what, what the happens with the wife. Cold fusion, infinite energy. So could Moldy actually be a good guy in this? Because now he's going to be tempted to use it listening device if anything else sparks his fancy about his wife that seems off track He's looking for Moldaver. But why is he looking for Moldaver?
Yeah, those are the people from earlier. Right, this thing got internal fingers. What's going to be the price if it gets paid? Yes, yeah, so let me give you another bite of popcorn.
Thaddeus, boy. Oh, everybody's there on trial. He can go get the core. He got a random ear on top of his skull.
That's pretty epic so far. That sucks. Couldn't I give him back the score? She's so freaking stupid, I'm sorry. He was feeling good with them oysters, man. He's like ready to get his cock to explode. All right, so sticking together, that's a good thing. BJ Carl at KPSS, Broadway, the base, the one's beautiful Hollywood Hills. Oh, 
Who's just dragging their feet? Oh, him with the, the got his whole foot jacked up. To the radio station so he can call for backup. Doctor, I can help you. <laughs> He's there right the fuck out. It's John Daly. Holy crap. He just made him red. He's going to turn into some kind of creature or beast. Something from... He's just been infected. It's a snake oil salesman. He even did some stuff. So he's going to have him messed up. Oh, that's going to... Oh, that's not going to be good.
they're behaving and eating. They're being killed. You crazy. Man, she's on something, man. Getting their assignments. I'm holding the baby, so you have to pack everything. Really? Yo, this is the show is driving me freaking nuts in a good way because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this Vault 31. It's still got me twisted. I've been trying to take notes. I've been trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. No, no. For right now, I'm, episode seven is what I'm on right now. So, yo, this is, this is great. This woman, you're a coward. Yeah, because Stephanie completely took over Chet and got him doing whatever she needed to do. Facts, I got you there, Norm. Get the packing, Chet. You're going to 30 something. Yeah. <sighs> Again, yeah, I know. Spoils everything. Oh, old doggy. I wonder if this is going to get a season two. I really feel like it can. They can really uh, do some stuff with it. Yep, that was gonna take you where you need to go.
That's a kicker right there. Like where he ends up, the dog is gonna make sure he's good. And he's still gotta think for dogs. He's gonna put the listening thing in the pit boy. Oh, it ch changes out. So you can find out what's going on with this uh pit boy. I'll say you can't <laughs> I understand why with the dogs but they were training them for something else. But for what? What were they training the dogs for? That's the other question I have. I don't know why they were training the dogs or what the particular purpose is of the dogs. And in the game, the dogs are your little companion. I guess to go find stuff. They do little objective stuff for you, but... In the show, what was the person who trained the dogs? The dogs like really protective of their owner, ready to kill. No question asked. I don't know if the little thing in the neck has something to do with that. Call them dog meat. Dog meat. We got the film music. There's a radio tower in the background. Seems they're getting closer to their destination. KPSS. This head is getting worse and worse by the minute. Oh, he managed to call him. Fake it till you make it. No, oh, dang, he got people snapped up. No requests, no visitors, people missing heads. Cannot be nice.
Yes, that's me, Thaddeus. Oh yeah, because you took some stuff. They about to light that place up. We'll see what's going to happen. There it is. There's the mwah. And the heads are kissing, really. <laughs> what is this? This is this is wild. Okay. Uh y'all gotta get moving or something. Like get going. It's not going to look good on you because Thaddeus is missing as well as Titus. Stephanie, again, this is all planned and plotted.
This is a setup. What is the setup? Like it's going down. The whole transfer of Vultans. Norman, stuff's going down. You got to figure some stuff out because I don't know who she's conferring with. Your computer's going to go to the bypass. Betty, how are you? Oh, okay. Come on, Scone 31. Mission not going as planned. What's the response? He's going to have to go through 32 to get to 31. All right? Because he had to get through 32. So did they let him through 32? Or is there another back door around the 31? That's one thing I don't understand. So we're gonna pop in behind them. Let's see what's in thirty one. Norman, you got some balls. Automatic system, they don't have a gatekeeper. Is gatekeeper just like the false sense of security they get they have? They can open these things from anywhere. be as stealthy as possible. You just walk around saying hello. Man, now nah, you don't know what you're about to run into. Oh, 
The only way he'd be safe is if it's his mom or something. His mom will shoot everything. Or his dad. His dad could be the one there. Episode eight, it'll last episode. Oh, I just want to power through all of this. This has got me so intrigued. Everything is up. This has got me like, yo, what's gonna happen? Because dad was taken away, he wasn't killed. So was he taken just put in 31? Because they went back through, right? Where they came from. They went back from 30 from 33 back to 32. So they could have went ahead and gone to 31, placed them there, and had him operate on 31. It's part of the mission compromise, whatever. To and he was just like, "Hey, as long as my daughter's good, I don't care what y'all do." <clears throat> oh, yeah, he's wearing the, the pilot suit, so they probably looking at him some type of way too. Because he's not his regular in his squire gear. What his armor still sitting out there? Why are you going to feel they got the whole airship sitting in Philly? Okay, so he's not going all the way back to base, so he's going back to figure out whatever's going on here, and then we can get the culmination and see if we're going to get a season two or not because they out in force. What is about to happen to him? Because he need to get back in his armor or, or steal some armor or something. Everybody looking at him sideways. There's squires. They're all mean mugging the crap out of him. I don't know what the red jackets are. He fell in combat. Dango in the back. You know, big and bad in your suits of armor.
And what's up with these brothers? Like, what are they? What artifact are they looking for exactly? Getting, he's getting the whole power speech about to set this up. We're trying to tempt him into stuff because he's, he's losing power. He's slipping. What's he going to do? And she didn't walk into some stuff, so we're about to see what she about to get into. All right. Oh, yeah, because she went to go deliver the head. She, so she followed the coordinates to go figure out where she got to deliver it and what's going on with no Moldova, Moldova. Oh, the, the the flame flame lady, flame mother, to be specific. So where is her father? Something ain't right. Keep your eyes peeled. That is a Google. Is that the doctor? Who is that? And dogs on the trail. So everybody gonna meet up at the same location. It's gonna be a standoff. Gonna be a fight. He's got to listen to see what she's up to. Now we're going to get inside. Need to put that little listen device in. What is he driving? What is that? Buds. Bud is on some stuff. What is
and you gotta stay close to the transmitter for it to uh talk to you clearly so he's probably gonna go in and start to figure out what's going on and they're gonna get him snatched up and they're gonna experiment on him Face at last. Oh, daddy's in the cage. Whew. Dad might have been turned or something. Oh, no. She won't kill you. Take her she need out, she's gonna throw the head through the thing. Tell me how you know if I'm like, who he really is. What is it? Like this thing's got me in suspense. Like, what is it? The brain. You trying to stab me with a needle? This thing is hilariously outmatched. The 
is Henry. Robco, West Tech, Big MT, Repcon. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, that's how, that's how the setup goes. By outlasting everyone. Outliving them. She just get a message. Barb, I told you Barb was on something. He gonna run away with her. That's what's going on. bringing on the Roomba is hilarious like all this stuff coming to a head right now holy crap it's like what was going on in vault 4 with the thing it's buds buds America outsources survival Wow. Holy crap. That's where it all came from. That's where the setup came from.
Wow, that's the whole setup. Wow. The amount of things that they're doing here. They're... <clears throat> That's all Betty. Betty is on one. Hank, the queen. So Hank, Hank is important. War is never going to be out of sleep. War is always going to find a way. Man, told you she wasn't right. This is spicy. Okay, who's your mother? Why did you take them? To put them back? To use them for the else? Like Save my butt. So, Dane. Ah, okay.
Might get clear up? No. No, homie. I was a pilot. I'll be a pilot team. You actually got work to do. You got work to do, homie. Okay, here we go. A ridiculous idea to keep her quiet. That's what they're trying to do. Keep her quiet. Their husband. Man. Okay. So I want to know how many people were put in place here. Like how many people were set up. So she took her children, but then he came back. He took her. Man, Amazon, your storytelling has been on point. Starting to remember stuff now. Stuff starting to come back to her. Cold fusion. That's why she was leading the charge against them with the whole meetings and stuff to find out all the information. Is that, oh my, wow. Dude, ho, ho, ho.
she's over you right now, man. You done royally screwed up. Royally. There is no way you're just going to get away with that and call it a day. Like, nah. The code was 101097, which I think is the first day and month to follow his release. October 97. Yep. Caught that Easter egg. You might be a brain out of jar too. Is he gonna get in the pot? Is that the thing? It's always a freaking excuse. Fusion ready. Now, are we trying to talk to Lucy? Say so he's trying to talk to Lucy now? Mm -mm. Nope, nope. You, you messed up. You did some stuff that you shouldn't have been doing, and you set up everybody else to be taken out. And now it's about to be all, all hell breaking loose.
They're coming in scrapping. They're just throwing hands and rounds everywhere. choice but we not gonna know y'all just been managing bolts and chilling swapping out at leisure ears ringing me boy come on These guys are in these big T60 armors, and you think you just go up and these dudes ain't thinking. They're murdering everybody. Now, if they murder everybody, right, and we get the knights on top, what does that do? The ghoul is on point. Do it. Don't open the door. Nope. I'm engrossed in this. This is. I got like 20 minutes left. No.
Don't no worry about him. The heck? Oh, yeah, because that was him, too. So he get to get some get back if he really want to. Ixnay on the father, eh? <laughs> Are they in the freaking thing? They saved all of them, right? Never changes,
or what's the or we feel the shoe drop like what's gonna happen what's the plan What are you going to do with that? Put up a shut up. Get get moving, homie. Is he nowhere? Like his mother or something?
she she's done done. You got your night, man. This stuff as well. No. Dropping my controller and stuff. that's it for this live stream i'll thank everybody who joined us had a blast uh just watching it like again it was just a really interesting watch just all together so definitely gonna set up and do a review on this but until then i'll catch you guys next one i'm gonna get a little bit of sleep later <laughs>